So, uh, yeah, I've obviously played all of these. 5 out of 11 completed in no DST. What? Okay. Um, I've played them all. And I got... I got Reach because it's backward compatible. That's not what I wanted. Um, it's backward compatible and I already owned all the DLC and stuff. So I, I got it uh, digitally recently. But yeah, uh, we recently did the whole Gears of War series. So I said, let's just do the whole Halo series. We're going to just do it on easy though, because uh, considering there's seven games, in order to like save time, I'm just going to play them on easy. Because as much as I love Halo and stuff, uh, I don't want to spend 40 hours when I can spend 30. I don't know if the PvE stuff works towards your school or so, but wouldn't be that much. PvP is either 1v1 first to 3 kills, or 3v3, which is pretty much king of the hill. You got 3 zones you have to capture. Okay. I did not expect that from Absolver at all. I'll have to check it out. But at least it's on Game Pass. And then uh, the volume so far seems okay. I might be able to put it up a No, this sounds like it's good. You guys let me know. This game still doesn't have a volume slider after like five years. So I just turned it down into OBS. The only thing that's going to be a bitch is alerts. The volume will be uh, not balanced properly. But yeah, let me know if the game needs to uh, go up or down. But it seems like it's okay right now. It's too quiet. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes. Until we decelerate. Volume sliders no cost too much to code. It's fu it's fucking space. Halo. Here, actually, I'll put it back to full volume. And uh, for us on the far side of the I planet. might just have to turn it down during the gameplay. We'll see. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now. Nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple Was it the back button that you could switch battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over. Maybe you can't do it in the cutscenes in the first oh, one. The second it. one, you could go back Bring and the forth. Ship back up to combat alert alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Also, uh, I don't really like this one, by the way. I'm playing it because I want to play them all in order. But uh, compared to the other ones, I don't really like this one. Considering half the game is go forward and half the game is go back. And I don't know, there's a lot of stuff in this game I don't like. Obviously, back in the day, it was amazing, but now it just doesn't do it for me. But let's see how it goes. Also, eternal uh, rude. I don't appreciate that, bitch. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. Also, um, eternal made me a new emote chat. It's another Beat to TV emote. She's be a weeb, and uh, it's really good. So shout out to eternal for once again making a, a dope one. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir. Damn right I am. My skills. Double time. Attention all personnel, we are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Oh yeah? Wow. Sir? I forgot his fat ass cheeks. Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. I like the smaller version I made with the man bun intact, but it's too hard to see the face details. Yeah, that's the problem with emotes. The uh, the original one you the, the original ones you made of like I think it was the dead one it was one of those variations. Maybe the hmm the the man bun looked super good, but yeah, it's just too damn small. Also, remember how Dragon Ball got super blurry at points when it got really busy on screen? I was talking to Maka. Um, on Sunday, we were talking about a whole bunch of stuff and I ran that by him. And he said like either it's the computer can't handle it, which is what I thought, or he said it could be that I have an old cable somewhere. And I didn't even think of it, but when I got the HDMI splitter, um, 
all the like consoles are using the cables that came with them. But then the HDMI cable going from that to my PC was actually an older one. So I was like, okay, maybe that makes sense. But uh, so yesterday I went and got a new HDMI cable for that. But if there's a difference, it's very minimal, honestly. Like I did a, an offline recording and uploaded it to YouTube like in a private video to, to compare. And it seemed like it was a little bit clearer, but it, it was like... It was to the point where I didn't know if it was clearer because it was all in my head, or if it was actually clear. So, uh, yeah, chances are it didn't do a fucking thing. But the other cable was a bit too short anyway, so this one at least I have some like leeway in it. I moved this shit a, lot, a bit out of my out of my way and all that, so at least there's that. If there's no quality difference, at least it's it's not so like in my way. But yeah. I think uh, I think it's literally just something like Dragon Ball, where there's so the movement is so fast and the animations are so crazy that it just probably takes too much to choose from my PC to handle to to stream it and record it at the same time in 108060. Hello. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. But yeah. All right, shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. So that's what it look used to look like. <laughs> and um this is remastered. So yeah, I guess in Halo 1, you can't do that with the cutscenes. But in Halo 2, you can, and it's mental. Because Halo 2's cutscenes were the ones that were like... Because this remaster was on a 360. I actually had bought it, and I never started it, and I traded it in. So I, I literally don't even have it on my gamer tag. But, um... Yeah, so this one was remastered for the 360, but uh, Halo 2 was remastered for the 1. So it looks gorgeous, especially the cutscenes. If you guys haven't played Master Chief Collection, although I'm sure... Oh yeah, I forgot that you have like fucking moon boots in this game. But uh, I'm assuming that most of you guys know all this and you've played these before, but... And um, I am 100% going to get lost a million times. Okay, see now, now it's way too loud, right? Is this okay? Or is this too loud still? Okay. Oh right, you can't even, you can't move and crouch. You have to stop moving to crouch. Sounds good. Awesome. Carter with the five month resub. Thanks, homie. Uh. Really need to play the Master Chief Collection at some point. Have you have you never played these campaigns? I don't remember. You never played any of them, right? Same as Gears of War? I remember Gears of War you hadn't played. But was it you that said you'd never played it? You played 3 and 5. Random, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. Hello. Well, th 3 is widely considered the best. And uh, most people hate the story in 5, but I thought it was great. I really like 4 and 5. Most people don't, but I really do. Can I have a fucking gun, please? I ain't gonna follow you, I'm gonna run without you, bitch. You slow bitch. God, the soundtrack is so classic. God, I don't remember where to go at all. Hey man, what up? <laughs> I didn't start playing games until Halo 3, fair enough. To, to be fair, the first Halo that I owned was Halo Reach, I think. I think? Yeah, because I played that for like every day for like two years. <laughs> I was just about to crank the volume for the cutscene. I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. 
All right, then. I'm initiating Cold Protocol Article 2. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a matter of... That makes sense, Eternal. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, bye. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Whoa, role reversal? Hello. Good luck, Master Chief. Oh, he said my name. Cool. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, so you'll have to find ammo as you go. Hey, thanks for nothing. Wait, what? Did I not grab it? Oh, right, because I have no ammo. Um... Don't I just like... Oh, okay. Hey, man. Isn't it? Okay. Those Marines could use some help. I think it's one of those things where like... Um... If you get hit, you get popped out of the zoom. Oh, they're on my team. My bad. Also, it's X to reload like in every game. It's not B like in fucking Left 4 Dead. That seems way too loud. Is that okay? I had, to, I had to crank up the slider again um, during the cutscene. So, let's see. Sounds K to me. Okay, I know where to put it now. Cool. So yeah, I'll just put it to max during the cutscenes and then I'll just turn it down. Uh, holy shit. I totally forgot how floaty you are when you jump in this. It's absurd. Oh, right. I was supposed to melee him from behind and one-shot him. Idiot. Oh, well. Did we get boarded or something? Okay. Hey, man. Yeah, we did. The soundtrack, man. So classic. Is this an overshield? Oh, shit. Oh, right. Because you're supposed to use that on legendary. So yeah, I've played a lot of this, like the Master Chief Collection, I think I have like 80, 90 hours. Uh, you know, like I, when, when it came out, I streamed all the campaigns, then I streamed ODST when that got added. Because if you guys uh, don't remember, this game launched really, really badly. And as an apology, they basically said like anybody who bought the game like in the first month or whatever, got ODST added for free and uh, if you got it later than that it was like a five dollar DLC something like that where am I going something like that and um, so I streamed that too so that was fucking ages ago actually I could see right now when did I start this um There's a hell of a lot of achievements, man. It's like 600 achievements for 6,000. I think it was originally 500 for 5,000 and then ODST got added. Uh, wow. 2014. November 2014. That's crazy. Just over four years ago. Yeah, it's been a minute and also it looked like my tracker went up a tiny bit for 20,000 enemies. I actually was grinding this recently 
Uh, I just like looked on true achievements of a good spot to grind those kills. And for some reason it didn't go up. And then I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna stress it, I'm gonna stream all of the fucking games anyways. I'm bound to get a shitload of kills as I do that, so... This is also the game of choice when I was, um... When I was streaming Binding of Isaac all the time. Can I not refill it? Oh. When I was streaming Binding of Isaac all the time, um... There came a point where I wasn't getting any achievements. Because the only ones that were left were the very, very time-consuming ones. And like the end game shit, you know, like 100% the game. Uh, I just, like do all the challenges, all the like really awful stuff. And I had like an achievement streak going. So I would like literally every day <laughs> come home from work, throw this on, get a collectible for like five gamer score. And then, um. And then stream Isaac. Where. We're I always get lost in this mission. This is another reason I'm not crazy about this game is there's no marker or anything and everything fucking looks the same. Is this where I came from? This is where I came from, right? But yeah, everything I find looks the same and there's no real like Yeah, there's no indication of where to go, so I'm just going to be lost forever. At least for this mission. This mission for me is, I would say, the worst navigation-wise. Which is funny because it's like the shortest mission, I think. It's also a main reason that I don't have any of the like part-time, par-score shit. Is because I just get l so lost in these games. If you don't have a fucking arrow telling me where to go, I, it's just I'm doomed. And everything... In Halo 1 just looks the same. Especially the... The old shit. Okay, well... Man, it's so gross. So gross. I don't even remember this part. I also don't have any grenades yet, right? Looks like. They'll rip me. Actually, this would have been a perfect time for a nade. Also, the pistol in this game is basically a sniper. The pistol and the shotgun are like stupid. They do insane damage and have, like, just no drop-off. Really yeah, no kidding. The nav point. It will lead you to an I know there's one... Oh, here we go. We actually have a marker. Uh, there's one mission in particular... That always drove me fucking crazy as far as, like, I couldn't find anything. Um, in the remaster, they actually, like, put arrows on the floor. Yeah, they put, they put arrows on the floor to help. And I still get lost, because it's just, like, awful. We're too close. We need to find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait. We need to get to that door, but it's been damaged by an explosion. Analyzing. The door's control mechanism is offline, but it's taken a lot of damage. You should be able to bash it with the butt of your weapon. Go to sleep, bitch. Alright, we good. Having a sense of direction is overrated. Uh, not really. I hate it. I hate not having one. It's, it's super detrimental. Also, uh, I was watching Ray stream some Guacamelee 2 before I went live. It comes out in 10 days, and um, man, it's fucking awesome. I love the first one, and it just looks like more of the first, so I was like, hell yeah, I can't wait. What the hell was that twitch? 
Chat, look away for a second. I'm embarrassed. But, um... Yeah, I'll definitely be streaming that when it comes out. I didn't bother requesting a code because, uh... I knew I was going to play this for a while. I, I feel like a kind of like a dick to be like, Hey, can you send me an early copy? Except I won't play it for like two weeks. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely going to stream that. Uh, the only thing I'm debating is if I start it on hard or normal. So I, for, I forgot that the first one... Uh, I don't remember if you had to like beat the game to unlock hard difficulty. But uh, you could just enter the Konami code. And uh, you could go into hard mode directly like that. Again, this is where I came from. So yeah, I think if I remember correctly, I did like the 100% run on normal. And then I did a hard run with my buddy in co-op. And that actually bit me in the ass that I didn't do... Uh... Where am I going? It bit me in the ass that I didn't do the 100% run on hard. Because eventually they added DLC and there was something that was in hard mode. And I basically just wasn't strong enough to do it. Because the, the collectibles increase, increased your health and your stamina. And your like power mode gauge, whatever. And uh, I just didn't have enough and they added this like gauntlet type achievement. And uh, yeah, I just wasn't able to do it. So that was fucking annoying. I Speaking of annoying, remember when I said that I have no sense of direction and I hate this mission? I have no idea where I'm going. I know I'm running in circles. It's giving me the false sense of progress. Because every time I come back here, it's something explodes which leads you to believe that you're going the right way. I mean, logically, it's got to be around here somewhere. Fucking moron, it's because the lights weren't lit up and I'm a stupid idiot. I'm like, I need the light bulb to know where I'm going. So yeah, uh, hopefully in a perfect world, I could finish this by tomorrow. And then Friday, uh, we're actually going to continue that game the way on the Switch. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I've surprisingly been getting asked about it. Uh, and I read it's like six hours. I only played about half an hour. And um, I think I'm just going to like rewatch my stream because it's already been a couple of weeks. And c considering how short it is, I think I'm literally just going to like rewatch the half hour to refresh my memory on uh, what we did and how to control. I'll probably just tweet out a link to like, hey, uh, I'm continuing this today. W watch this if you missed it. Instead of just restart it for nothing. But yeah, uh, apparently it's like six hours and it seems really good. And I heard it's really good. So why not? Again, I'm just running in circles. I hate this mission with a passion. And to think this is like the first mission of the game. This is like your introduction to Halo. It's just like, I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, I finally got grenades. Alright, let's never do that again. Now would be a very good time to leave. What difficulty? I'm just playing on easy. Because I'm gonna replay all the Halo games and I don't want it to take 7 million years, so I'm just playing them all on easy to get through them faster. How's it going, uh, Official Prodigy? Look. Welcome to the stream. Man, they did such a good job redoing the cutscenes. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Hell if I know. We're landing on it. Brianna, keep your head! I knew it. The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Heads up, everyone. This is it. We're entering the ring's atmosphere in five. Sure you 
wouldn't rather take a seat? We'll be fine. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. Are the cutscenes still too quiet like this? Or was it just the first one that was too quiet? That one looks like it wasn't that bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, I remember this one. This one has a really big difference um, between the original and the remake. Alright, let's do this shit. Can you hear me? Probably right? super pussy cry baby mode, hell yeah. Um Eternal, what are you playing by the way? Yeah, there's the impact. There's nothing Gorgeous. Here. This one actually I also get lost like crazy. Great. I totally forgot about it. There's uh, yeah, there's a certain area where I always get completely lost. So rip. What up, Specialized? How's it going? Thanks for the host. You're playing as Master Chef? Hell yeah. Pretty cool guy. He doesn't afraid of anything. Or no, it's he it shoots aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. That was like a fucking super old school meme. Was it that and how to how to shut web? Are some of the like OGs? Nothing currently, but I've got Hive Jump and Void Vikings to play whenever I stop procrastinating. Fair enough. Enjoy. Hope you like them. Uh, excuse me. I tried to hijack it. It didn't work. Actually, I think they redid the music as well, right? Or was that just two? I know for two, they like redid all the gun sounds and the music and shit, which was dope. Can you hijack and see? I don't remember. That's what I was just wondering. Or it's just that it's like too early in the game. And they're like, hell no, motherfucker. You can't hijack until we tell you to, uh, how, like how it works. Just got back from a cruise. Dude, shout out to Tom. I thought it was a new feature in Halo 2. I honestly don't remember. Possible, though. Yeah, where'd you go, Specialize? And hopefully you had a good time. Catch, bitch. That was terrible. They already have Needlers? I was like under the impression it was just the jackals. Jackal, jackal, it's a jackal. Was there an achievement in like Halo 4 to keep all the marines alive in a mission on Heroic or something and it was a real pain in the ass? I saw in Castaway K. It was a good time. Hell yeah. That's awesome. How do you feel about Halo 2 Legendary? I've never played it, but I heard it's terrible. Because of the fucking jackal snipers that one-shot you. As soon as I heard about that, I was like... I'm completely completely fine never playing it. Fuck that noise. I also like the fact that my camera doesn't cover anything. That's cool. Thanks, game, for, like, future-proofing. Using every corner except the one I need. Actually, I say that. I think when you play online, the score is in the bottom right, but... It looks like being good after Sergeant Johnson died. Uh, spoilers. 38-year-old spoilers, dude. I like, uh... All of them, except for this one in ODST. The Jackals are terrible, and Gravemind is a grind to get through the first room. Oh fuck, isn't that the one where like you just it's you spawn in with like brutes all around you? I feel like I remember loading it up for something. 
I it wasn't it I think that's the one that had like an achievement for uh I don't know, seeing somebody like a dev or somebody naked or some shit in a in a cutscene and it's like Gravemine on legendary, but it's literally the first cutscene, so you just need to load the mission on legendary. You watch the cutscene, you get the achievement. And then I remember it started and I was like, let me see if I could fight my way out of this. And after dying like 17 times, I was like, you know what? This is why I usually play on normal, because I'm bad at games. And this is awful. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, with the needler, yep. Uh -oh, I remember that. It's so a level after you talk to the grave mind. Eternal, have you ever seen the grave mind or heard him? Or it? It's got one hell of a voice. Such horseshit. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Honestly, there's sometimes where there's missions like that where I'm just like, who thought this was a good idea? I sure it's like somebody who's like mad at the world. Damn straight. Did Eternal actually not know? She just said that she only played uh, Halo 3 and 5. So thanks for ruining everything. God, the music is so epic. He died in 3? Uh, dude. That's true, isn't it? Like at the very end? When you find out that Chief is Cortana's dad? I don't remember that shit. Yeah, me neither. It's been more than like three days since I've played this game, so I don't remember anything. Or these games, I should say. I don't remember what I played three hours ago exactly. All I remember right now is that fucking Left 4 Dead 2 charger that I can't kill with a melee attack that I just want to murder. Beat all Halos on MCC on Legendary. You got a Halo 5 armor called Helio Skrill. I found out you could buy it through microtransactions. It was all for nothing. That fucking sucks. At, at least you, if you care, you can be like, whatever, I got this legit. At least you'll know, but that sucks. Also, I feel like the game is getting too loud. You guys let me know. But that's rough. See, I like stuff like that because I'm bad at games. So I like knowing that there's if there's there's something I really want, there's an option to buy it. Or grind or something. Like, let's say I was just playing Dragon Ball Fighters, And you can unlock um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta and Goku by A-ranking Arcade on hard. Or... You can just get a certain amount of money, which I got from playing the story mode, or you could also buy them. And I was like, so what you're saying is that even if I'm terrible, 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 I can get them? Sweet. I like the idea of being able to get a paid I for item through grinding, etc. Yeah, I like having options. Depending. I hate when, when they're clearly made grindy just so that people spend money instead. But I remember, actually, I remember in Halo Spartan Assault, the the twin stick that was a Halo game. Uh, I spent a few bucks on microtransactions because there was, um... You could either grind XP that you used for, like, a point booster or a rocket launcher, shit like that. Or you could just, like, spend two bucks to get, like, points. And, um... After grinding, like, let's say three hours, I would look at my points and I was like... You know what, here's three dollars. Fuck this. Sometimes when it's like, do I want to spend 20 hours or 20 dollars? Here's money. I got shit to do. Or games with energy? Well, that, yeah, that's like mobile shit. But yeah, I agree. Uh, this is not where I'm supposed to go, right? This is... This is just so you could loop around if you fuck that jump up. <laughs> Halo 1. Yeah, I'm not crazy about Halo 1 anymore either, but... Well, it wouldn't be a Halo marathon if I'm just like, Hey, we're, we're marathoning the Halo series. Let's play Halo 4 and 5.
Uh, first of all, let's skirt, skirt, or not. Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, I'm assuming you mean like the games, games with energy. You mean like, uh, like the mobile type shit. Like I remember playing the the mobile trials, and you'd have like a certain amount of gas, and then like the higher difficulty tracks needed more gas. So you'd have like 35 gas, but this track was like seven. So if you fucked it up, then it's just like, all right, well. Depends how hype an item is and how rare an item is for me to buy it. Yeah, fair enough. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but it makes sense for mobile games because that's how they make their money, right? Like if uh, if they're free, if it's a free game and it has that. That's one thing, or I always preferred, I always preferred if it's like, um, like I, I was actually just talking about this recently, but like Bejeweled, remember Bejeweled, you could either play it for free or there was like five bucks to remove ads, that type of thing, I'm like, considering how much I'm going to play this and how much I love Bejeweled, and how much uh, less bullshit it is to not have ads, I'm just like, alright, here you go. But that's bejeweled. Most mobile games, like even Trials, I would just like play it on like the ride to work and then be like, all right, I guess I'm done. I ain't buying shit. I'm too poor to buy anything based on hype. Price too, like Fortnite skins being 20 bucks. Yeah, that's gross. Even with Dragon Ball, again, I mentioned it just because I've been playing it the past week or two. But that each DLC character is like six fifty. I'm like, this is fucking gross, dude. That's like a tenth of the game, but it's not a tenth of the content. They were like five bucks, okay, but twenty bucks. Yeah, I remember like uh, like Rivals of Ether. A lot of the DLC shit like on Steam is like three bucks, which to me is fine. Or they'll do like, um. They do a lot of skins that are like five bucks, but it's for tournaments. So they use the skins to like raise money for like the pot bonuses, which I'm like, okay, I don't care. Five bucks for just a skin that I'll like barely use is kind of dumb. But I'm like, whatever. If it's a game that I've put sunk literally 500 hours in and it's helping like the, uh, the pros be able to like actually, you know, make some money off their tournaments, sure. Oh yeah, Prodigy, for sure. For sure. That Free games, like the microtransaction stuff is always nuts, but that's how they make their money. But yeah, 20 bucks for a skin is like fucking absurd. Rocket League's DLC cars are only 2 bucks and you get a car, player, banners, and a goal explosion. See, that makes sense too. That's always... I'm weird with that shit. Sometimes I always look at it as like, uh, like, how much does the price come up to percentage? Like, let's say Rocket League, like a two dollar car for a twenty dollar game, is like, all right, that makes sense. And then sometimes I think I'm like, why did I just buy a Rivals of Ether five dollar skin when the game's fifteen bucks? But, But that's just my brain being fucking stupid. This is the part, by the way, where I always get lost and I hate everything about it. I'm just going to go in circles. I think you just follow these lights. But, uh, I, I hate it. If it's cosmetics, I don't care. Nice. But if we could buy the best weapons slash armor with real money, then fuck. Oh, you mean pay to win? Fuck pay to win. Yeah, if it's skins and stuff, if you have, like, the option to, like, grind forever or spend real money, I don't care. But yeah, if there's, like, something that gives you an advantage, fuck that noise. Uh, Mason Malone, thank you for the 100 bits. What did the hat say to the hat rack? You stay here, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> nice. Nice. Also, Mason, thank you for that follow. I noticed, uh, what was it? Six hours ago you followed? So, welcome. Going to forehead. Where am I going? Accept my ban gladly. 
Luckily, I, I love shitty puns, so it's all good. Ever played Borderlands 2? It's up there with my favorite game next to Halo 2 and Spyro. Borderlands 2 is in my top 10 of all time. I fucking love, love Borderlands 2. Actually, uh, was it, was it like two years ago at this point, Eternal? Since I went ham on Borderlands? No. I think it was, it was, it was 20, uh, it was 2017, right? Because I think, you know when they do like the Xbox year in review? 2018, my most played game was Enter the Gungeon. So I guess it's 2017 that was Borderlands, I don't know. But DUI, what are you doing? I'm, it's, um, it's analog driving, first of all. Uh, so terrible garbage. Second of all, I don't know where I'm going. And third of all, shut up. <laughs> also, Slowpoke says, "Don't need that." Man. Rotate, rotate accounts whenever I forget the password. I want fair enough. Where'd the other guy go? Where's the sniper? Is he dead? All right. Well. Oh, hey, dudes. What up? Shut up. About time you showed up. Up in, bitch. Wait, what? Showtime. Why is there like 18 of you, but only... Okay, see you later, the rest of you. Yeah, that's it. Dodge in front of the car. Where am I going? How do I get out of here? Sorry, sir. Sorry. Beep, beep, beep. What the fuck? Where'd they come from? Whoa, hello. Where'd my guys go? They just hopped out of my car? You're supposed to fight with me, bitch. Well, this is going wait. Wait, are the marines attacking me? This is canon. Master Chief is a sociopath. I didn't think that they got aggro when you run over them. That's fine. I could do this alone. That's why I put on easy mode. All right, cool. Uh, checkpoint done. <laughs> See, you were supposed to do that. We're um. All right, on to the next area, I guess. <laughs> they had families. Listen, man. So do the Covenant. You don't see anybody crying for them when I kill them. So. See? There you go. Now you got a kid without any parents. But do you cry for the covenant? No. Blat, blat. Remind me to never get in a car with shiz. That's a smart decision. You, you know how impatient and angry I am. Get to a red light and I'll just hop out like, I'll fucking kill you! Oh my god, with the spawning! Can I squeeze through here? This is the speedrun strat. I'm going to AGDQ next year, don't worry about it. Oh boy. Hello. Gonna kick the shit out of a red light? Fuck yeah, dude. Think I care? Anybody can get it, bro. <laughs> Late speed, what you playing, dude? Also, uh, sorry, I, I just realized I never answered you. Yes, Golf Story is worth it. Golf Story is fucking amazing. It's one of the best games I've played in a long time. But, um... Anyways, yeah, uh, Borderlands, apparently... I think there was, like, a Taiwanese listing for an Xbox One remaster of Borderlands 1. The only thing is I hope that if it happens that they let you, um carry your save across like they did with 2 and 3 with the handsome collection because I don't want to do all that shit again uh, if I could not ever do Mad Moxie's stuff um, and have to grind to like level 70 and do that fucking claptrap DLC and all that garbage I'll be fine OG art style in Halo Infinite nice I didn't know that. I haven't looked at any of the info because I know it's so long. It's so far away that I don't care until it's like close. 
Acknowledged. We're on our way. Did I beat the game? Am I the Halo? Hey man, don't what up? Don't try that again. What are you talking no. about? I don't know what you're talking about, Gunner. I was just hanging out here all alone. No no other army dudes, just me alone fighting the Covenant. Alone. No nobody nobody else. Just you know. Is this an easy one K what up unequalized? How you doing man? Unequalized, did you know in this game apparently not that it happened, but just like the word on the street, uh, apparently if you run over Marines, they uh, they get mad at you and they attack you. Hopefully, ho hopefully somebody can confirm if this is true. Pre-sequel is garbage? I like pre-sequel, just not as much. I still have to redo it on the 360. So you get Incineroar, he's busted. You know what, I heard so much about Incineroar, but I didn't know who he was, because I don't know about Pokemon anymore. And, um... I was watching a buddy stream, and he was using him, and I was like, who the fuck is that? He looks super dope. He's like, yeah, that's Incineroar, and I was like, I get it now. I totally understand why everybody's on his dick, he's a beast. Huh. Eventually, I'll, uh... Start caving people's faces in with him. It's a court marshalling. This game ripping off Zelda with the chickens? <laughs> with the chickens? What you talking, bruh? Link is stupid OP, but I suck at him? Really? Link is OP? Link hasn't been good in Smash since... ever? All these new Pokemon Smash, I'm like, what the fuck? It's crazy. But keep in mind, I'm an old-ass man. Last time I played one was Gen 2, when they went from 151 to 251. And now they have, I think, 8,367,027. So, yeah, there's a few I don't know. I feel like, movement system was gimmicky, and the world seemed more linear, in my opinion. I don't know, I know most people don't like it, but, uh... I thought it was fine. I, I, the DLC at least was not bad. Borderlands 1 had some of the fucking shittiest DLC. So at least with pre-sequel, uh, it wasn't too, too bad. But no, I, I enjoyed it overall. I didn't mind, like, the oxygen shit was annoying, but... I liked the, the whole space theme and shit. Unequalized, uh, thanks for the host, homie. Old ass man, I'm older than you, so rip me. Yeah, man. I'm gonna look for the last life, but okay. We're leaving. You attack chickens, Zelda, they come at you like a motherfucker. I know. I did that, uh, like the first night that I played Breath of the Wild. I guess you didn't see it because you're a fake fan. God. Oh, I hear the Pelican. I miss Jen's 5 through 7. Yeah, I was watching Ray play. Some stuff like like a little bit of Let's Go. Although that's all Gen One, I guess. And I watched um, like Pokemon Black, and I was like, I'm so fucking confused. I'm confusion. Where the hell's my warthog? Remember you grabbing the chicken, and jumping off a cliff when I suggested it? Yeah, that that still worked, which is dope. But um, I think there's even a clip. I think Kevin clipped it. It was said something like Welcome to Jackass or something. I don't know, um, but it should be in my clips, but yeah, I did, I, a hundred percent, like the first night, I, s I think it's as soon as I got to Kakariko Village, or was it Hatano, I don't know, but, um, I immediately, like, I saved and then I just started wailing on some chickens. Have a good one, Prodigy, thanks for hanging, hopefully you had a good time. Um, yeah, now I don't, where am I going? God, I hate analog driving so much, it's garbage. I think I could just dip from here and then go right. Guess we'll find out soon enough. 
Remember when I was like, I'm gonna have Halo 1 done by tomorrow? LOL! This is my life now. Oh, wait, there's flashing lights. Did I do it? Did I beat the game? Up. Alright, we Gucci. We Gucci. Let's show one Pokemon be like Bulbasaur and Squirting Turtle. Nice. Charmageddon. Charming Fireboy Lizard. I believe was his name. It was Bulbasaur, Squir Squirtle, and Chameleonaire. <laughs> Isn't there a new Charizard? Is there? Really? Is it like Roman numerals and in the the eye in Charizard has there's just two eyes? Like Mega? Like Mega Charizard? Or Megazard? That was in that was in Power Rangers. Now they have all these fucking weird ones where they throw shit together. It's like it's a kitchen sink and a rodent. We call it rat sink. It's a hundred percent dude, there's one where it's a bag of garbage. It's um and I think its name is literally a mix of, of trash and rubbish, and its name is like Trubbish. Something like that. I'm not even joking. There's a keychain one, really? So a coat hanger? There's a chandelier called like Candelabra or something. Don't talk shit about my son Trubbish. I'm, I'm, is that its name? Also, I need to update TA so that people know I'm streaming. Cool. Um, um, let's see, Trubbish. Yeah, that's its name. It's, it's literally, its name is literally fucking Trubbish. There's a TV. Oh my god. Great. There's fall damage in this game. Great. Hey, that's cool, huh? I like how the music kicked in right as I broke my ankles. Sick, dude. It's a giant mech Pokemon. That's my favorite too. I was talking about that the other day. It used to be like, uh, this this Pokemon is a lizard. It lives in uh, the desert. And now it's like, this is the legendary god Pokemon that made mankind from the ancient rock of the ages. Excuse me. Called Go Lurk, and it can learn fly somehow too. Was was it made by Twitch Plays Pokemon? Go Lurk. Yo, shout out to my my favorite Pokemon. Go Sub. I'm gonna lie, they got real weird with it, but at least they have new ideas. Do you consider a, a doorknob a fucking idea? That to me more sounds like people were like trying to think up ideas and they're in a boardroom and they're like Chandelier Tr uh, Trash Trubbish uh, T-shirt jean uh, 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 war Wardrobe Wardrobe Alright we got it Gen 6 confirmed Don't forget the edges Pokemon. Is it B sharp or by sharp? I found Captain Keys. Is it like a knife that's bisexual? Look at all the dead bodies. What up, Mary? How you doing? New Yoshi Switch game in March? Really? Hell yeah. What kind is it gonna be? Um, is it gonna be like that woolly shit that they did last time, or is it like a normal one? It's literally made of knives. I have to see this. Y sharp or B sharp or whatever. Oh my god, it's literally just knives connected to each other. That's dangerous. I really like the black and white legendary Pokemon. I. Sure, man. Oh, we're going here.
Crafted World, aka Little Big Planet. Really? Oh, that's dope. That game was fucking cool. You know what? Oh, wait a minute. Is it working? <laughs> no, gutter! No! <laughs> Dude, my favorite season is the fall! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Just kidding, I like Halo 1 now. Oh man. I remember once I was bored when I was playing Halo Reach and they had jetpacks. So I hopped in a warthog and a teammate hopped in. And then I just drove off a cliff and I hopped out and I jetpacked back to the stage. And it's just like betrayal. And then I get an angry message saying some F bombs and such. He died like he lived, always on the edge. <laughs> yeah, he just cosplayed as B-Sharp. The jetpack allowed some bullshit to be pulled? Oh yeah. God, I feel like I'm there. You know what? Some levels like this... It's easier to get around the old way because there's nothing. Cortana is is Cortana fucking backseating right now? I recommend you. I recommend you shut the fuck up, woman. You know what? Just because she said that, I'm gonna do the same as I do with backseaters on Twitch. She's like, use a sniper rifle. Okay. Look out of my sniping. 360 no scope. So I'm like, how did he die? Eating a cliff bar. <laughs> nice. So, uh, uh, late speed. I'm assuming you mentioned Smash before. If you guys were talking about, uh, what's his face? Wrestler Boy? Uh, Incineroar? Have you been playing Smash? Or have you been doing the light speed thing, which is you have 17 consoles and you go, I have nothing to play. I don't know what to do, I'm so bored. Dude, uh, last night, Derek and I were boosting some Dragon Ball for a while, and then like while we were at it, we were messing around with combos and stuff. And uh, I was actually like starting to learn how to string some shit together, and I felt like a champion, dude. I would do like... Pop them in the air, hit them with a couple of hits, pop them in the air again, double jump, hit them with a couple of hits. I was like, dude, look at this. I'm like playing a fighter like I actually have thumbs. Feels good. Okay, yeah, the music's the same. Oh my god. The soundtrack though. <sighs> You think everybody in the studio making this song was just like sitting around nutting? Like everybody's avoiding eye contact because they're just trying to hide the fact that they're all simultaneously nutting. Love Simon slash Richter for the whip range? Hell yeah. Smash is easy to get into for a garbage player. Smash is very uh, good about that. That's one. Of, that's probably one of the reasons that I got so into it, and then yeah, because I played it seven million hours a day when I was young. Um, that was like the only game that I got like competitive with. But that's when I was. I would literally just practice like one thing all day. Like I remember when I was. Uh, it was like around the age that I heard I suck. A quote where it was like, um, "Amateurs practice until they get it right. Pros practice until they don't get it wrong." And like, I heard that quote around the time I was super into melee, so I would be like, if I wanted to learn wave dashing, I wouldn't like, like now when I'm playing Dragon Ball, you know, if there's like the combo tutorials, I'd get the combo and then I just move on. 
and I don't remember said combo, and in Smash, like, when I wanted to learn wave dashing, I would, like, spend a day wave dashing. And I would not stop until I never fucked it up. But nowadays, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna spend eight hours learning how to properly press a trigger. But, uh, yeah, it's always been a... Well, I mean, because it's supposed to be a party game. It's definitely well done in the, uh, like, easy... Easy to learn, hard to master type thing. Same with the even... Uh, this one reason I really love the game... The, the Trials games. Like, anybody can play beginner, easy, medium. And it's, like, nothing. Because it's just the triggers and the stick. And obviously it takes a fuckload of time before you could start like beating extreme track extreme tracks and doing them without faulting and so on. I just learned you can use bumper to dive. To dive? There's diving in Smash? What? Have they removed tripping? Was that only in Brawl? Also goodbye frames. I barely knew you. Quick scopes. He's a legend. Only in Brawl, good. I like how they were like, uh, we want this to be a party game, so we're removing all the stuff that melee players abuse to make it competitive. And then they're like, let's take it a step further. Let's add in fucking random tripping, you stupid chodes. Didn't know how to use that smash ball till the day. It, didn't they add like shitty smash balls too? Like you either get your s super smash or whatever it's called. Or it like, it blows up in your face. It's like it either floats in the air or rolls on a platform. I don't know. Fake smash balls, dude. 2019. Also, <laughs> I just saw that like, you just hear uh every 10 minutes or so in the office. I'm assuming that was uh, me talking about how everybody's nutting in the studio. The sound designers are like, "All right, so where are we gonna uh, where are we going to play that song?" Somebody's like, "Everywhere, everywhere, all the time." Start the game until you turn it off. It's just boom, 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 boom. boom. It flows like a regular one. The symbol is just different. Oh, okay. Does one of the Smash logo and one says LOL JK? <laughs> Joke was so shitty I fucking couldn't say it with a straight face. I hate myself. Ah! Wasn't there like an achievement to kill a hunter in one shot or something? Like a pistol round? Was it epic with the amazing graphics? Just a reverse symbol? Yeah, I figure. Yes, Give me the good suck, Poppy. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Wow. So much purple. Purred in the boner. Once we're inside the ship, I can hone in on the captain's command neural interface. They'll probably be in or near the ship's brig, which should narrow our search. Echo 419 inbound. Clear the drop zone. Am I not going in here? Oh no, I'm bringing them with me. Hold up, I see the health pack. Can I get it? Give me the health pack, you stupid bitch. Well... Oh, Chad, I think I deleted the clip that I made last night. I did, and I think I deleted the message I sent to Ray with it. Shit. Yesterday, I just remembered, I think it was at Hunters, when I was working on um, Left 4 Dead. Uh, I was doing like two controller stuff, because I have no friends. And <laughs> I was a charger, and my dummy controller was a human. And I was working on the achievement of like making... Uh, or no, I was just trying to end the round so I can grind picking up gas cans and scavenge. But my human is... I, I was trying to jump off the edge and I missed it. So, like, it's getting picked up, and then I spawned in as a charger, so I lined up and I just tackled my dummy controller off the map. <laughs> and we just went fucking 
flying out of the stage and you could tell that you were not supposed to get that far because everything was just like gray and black like there's no textures or anything it was just nothingness and they'd probably just never plan on some somebody be as fucking stupid as I am it was uh it was amazing also I just ran into a grenade and got roasted What up, bitch boy? Not ready for online yet? Maybe in a week or two? I know I'd get destroyed. Man. Um... I don't know. I don't know how I've had ultimate. It's not like melee. From what I've seen... Again, that's why I didn't want to get it at first. And melee never had online, but now it does with like, you know, mods and shit. Or like emulators, like a... Uh, you could do net play and blah blah blah. But obviously GameCube was pre-online. Uh oh, I'm trapped. But um... Yeah, if you were to play something like Melee online, you... You literally wouldn't be able to touch people. Ultimate, I'm sure there's a lot of nasty ass people, but I, I feel like it's probably more forgiving. I don't know if there's any like true zero to death combos. Or, I say that, again, I haven't looked at... I haven't looked shit up, so I'm sure there's a lot of dope stuff by now. Dude, I should show you guys what happens when I play Dragon Ball Online. Maybe, depending on, like, when I finish a mission, maybe, like, I'll, I'll do the last 15 minutes online or something. If you guys want to see some fucking demolishment, if that's a, even a word. If not, I invented it. I am a genius. I'm a linguistic legend. But, uh, man... It's really funny watching me play Dragon Ball Online. I get zero to death. I could do like jab, jab, kick, and meanwhile they're like, boom, 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 jump, boom, 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 jump, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, but you have a double jump. How are you jumping 18 times? I don't understand. And I'm like stubborn with that one. I like the game. I actually like the game even more than I thought, so I like want to get good. But at the same time, I'm like, well. This is what I get for, like, never playing Fighters my whole life and playing the game a year after it came out. Obviously, I'm going to be terrible and not stand a chance. And I just don't want to sink in the time that it would take to get good. Because there's no point. And I just don't have time because I'm not going to just stream that game for six months straight. But, uh, it's like the first fighting game like that where I'm like, wow, I actually want to learn shit. So I've been like looking at tutorials on YouTube and stuff. How to like extend combos and... But usually what happens is I watch something, I'm like, huh. Yeah, no, that's impossible for me. And then I just watch like an Evo <laughs> tournament. I'm like, this is satisfying watching people do it properly. Oh. oh, was I just supposed to let them in? I I don't remember any of this shit. Eternal, how you liking this game so far? As someone who's never played it, hold up, let's go old school with it. Get no score, bitch. I guess I should uh, use the needler, seeing as I could actually get more ammo. All right, that's all locked. Great. Could be anywhere. You know what? I'm gonna stop doing that. It's just ugly. Fuck nostalgia. It's just gross. It's a Halo game. Yeah. Nice roll, nerd. Roasted. Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Five dollars easy peasy. What? That's true, you said, what was it, that one and Ocarina? That you got? Didn't you say that you were going to play Ocarina for the first time or something? It was like five bucks. 
Well, Link Between Worlds, I feel like I heard that one was really good. So enjoy it, man. And either way, five bucks, if you, if you don't really like it, it's not even, uh, like, that bad. Explode for me, baby. Target just threw it a door two hours ago and didn't ring, of course. Well, the graphics are nice in some spots. Uh, no. <laughs> I yeah, I guess some spots it's like it, I find it's more just like nice for the nostalgia, but they actually like look good in the remaster, like but good, good. You hear that like heartbeat? I wasn't sure if there was like loud ass music in the background or something. It's like a heartbeat effect. It's kind of like it. I like it. It makes it more like intense. What am I becoming? Dude, a fucking real gamer finally. Instead of playing what? PlayStation with like God of War. Fucking fake gamer grill. Some of the things they added in the remaster make it hard to see in this though. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying before, like in the the part with the sniper and shit, sometimes it's easier to navigate like this because it's just it's so bare. Wait a moment. I'm going to access the Covenant battle net and locate an override code to open a door. You better hurry, Cortana. Like in this, it's a lot easier to see what the hell you're doing. I can't even hear Cortana. But yeah, they there's no uh there's no volume sliders I'm assuming, right? Audio. It's just a menu music volume. Hey, why? Especially a game like this. Like you'd think that they would splurge and do it. It's also annoying to stream it um Campaign is like one thing, but when you're doing multiplayer, it's fucking annoying. Like last time, uh, when I was playing with Afro recently, and we got that Vidmaster achievement or whatever the hell it was, the um, the annual achievement of playing like on Legendary, Halo 3, everybody has to finish in a, a ghost. It was super annoying because I had to basically, the game is too loud and overpowers them. So instead of just adjusting the volume in game, I had to like uh, turn down OBS, then turn up the volume of the Xbox app so that everything is balanced properly. Got it. The door is open. I need gold store. Yes, isn't it on sale? Hicks Hicks told me it was like half off. At least where he lives. But it's fucking amazing, man. Golf Story and The Messenger. I'm just like, if you have a Switch, do it. Hey, you know what, chat? Pro tip from Shiz. Don't fill somebody up with explosives and then go and punch them in the face. It hurts. It's true, it's true. Shout out to those invisible elites with, with swords, though. That's really fun on hard difficulties. It's so great. Man, it's so cool to just be like running around and all of a sudden you get stabbed in the spine and you get one-shotted. It's 10 bucks. If they ship the code for Amazon, I'll have enough. Nice. Yeah, that reminds me. I have um, I have an Amazon gift card coming in the mail. And it's been like a m over a month now. Although, it's like Visa reward points and it's like, allow four to six weeks for delivery and I'm like... Uh, where are you fucking shipping it from? The moon? Is the visa head office on the moon? Every system has something I want to play. Xbox has Celeste. Celeste's so good. And yeah, if every... Anybody watching that has Xbox Live Gold, and if you've never played Celeste, it's games of gold right now. And I can't recommend it enough. That was my favorite game of 2018. So, 
highly recommend. And if you're an achievement hunter, uh, it has an assist mode. So you could just cheese the achievements if you really want to. I, I like did a, a normal playthrough and then I um, mopped up with assist mode. Wizards on the moon with Visa? Charge it to my card. What am I... What am I doing? Alright, see you later. And Nikolai's, what, uh, what are you playing? Destiny, or are you playing... A real game, or... <laughs> Do you have to unlock the assist mode? Or can you turn it on after the tutorial? I think you can unlock it, uh, you can just turn it on whenever. I don't remember there being a an unlock of any kind. I think you just have to like quit out and go into the options. Like I rec I recommend playing it normally to begin with, just because it's so fucking good. But yeah, obviously if you're just playing it for achievements, then um, that's the best way to do it. But yeah, basically what I, when I played it, it was like. There's seven chapters, like the whole time you're trying to get to like the top of the mountain. So there's seven chapters of that. And then there's an eighth, which is like the core of the mountain, but you need collectibles to get to it. So I just like, at that point I just used, uh, used guides in assist mode to like fly everywhere and shit. Also, Hippie Shade, how's it going? Doing dreaming city, dreaming city shit since it's high curse week. That makes sense. The like uh, high corruption or whatever, like every three weeks. So yeah, I know Celeste is super short. If you just use assist mode, like I, I didn't like, let's say fifteen, not even, maybe like ten to twelve hours. But I know, like, when Ray played it, he won Kate in, like, five hours. Or you have Chris, who played everything legit. He did all the B and C sides legit, and it took him, like, 100 hours. Whatever floats your boat. Happy Shade, I'm alright, man. I just remember to have a fucking doctor's appointment tomorrow. Which just sucks because it snowed like a motherfucker today and it's supposed to again tomorrow, so I'm not down to running around of that shit. Oh, I got needle rounds, hell yeah. Five hours to 1k, something like that. Because assist mode, it's really smart. I wish more games did it. Like, it's the point of it is so that everybody can experience the game. So, like, if you're having trouble with one particular thing, you can use assist mode to make it easier. But you could also just turn everything on. So, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, um... You could, like, basically, you're invincible, you have infinite jump- what the fuck? Um... Yeah, you're invincible, you have infinite jumps, and so on, so it's just, like, super fucking easy. The only achievement that's hard no matter what is, um... Whatchamacallit, it's like, to get a 1-up or something, I don't know, Mac has a guide for it, but it's just like, I think you have to get like 10, 5 strawberries or 8 strawberries or some shit, but without touching the ground, or like you can't touch the ground too long, or it's just like you can't, you can't stay still, I don't remember, it's something about like movement speed, you gotta be quick, but uh, he has a guide for it, so you, worst case you just need to practice it a little. Also, uh, Snapple, what's up, man? Welcome back. Yeah, no problem, Hippie Shade. It still has that heartbeat thing, now it's just making me, like, uneasy. Oh, can I get him from behind? Go to sleep, bitch. Oi, bruv. Uh. I like the fact that you one-shot them even with the shield on easy. Oh, 
Holy fuck, okay, calm down. Where's that invisible bitch? Hey, you know what, Shiz? Maybe aim your gun properly, idiot. Thumbhead. Wow, no scope, bitch. I really kicked the sh. What do you mean? What you mean? Do I not. Hello? Oh, it did work. Time to visit Queen Mara? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Yes, sir. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. And that's true. The Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon, and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. You see at me because Ghost was sassing her over the past few weeks? Not running through the levels in 2019 like a GDQ speedrunner. I mean, that's why I put it on easy to get through it faster, but I'm obviously going to let the cutscenes and all that play out. We need to hit you see the lore, dude. Have you guys been watching any uh, GDQ, by the way? I actually watched the Sonic Forces speedrun uh, before. I only cut the tail end of it, but... Uh, It was pretty ridiculous. Fucking one hour. Honestly, I was almost surprised it took that long, considering that my blind run was like three, three and a half. Or something. But, um... Man, it was, there's so much time just pissed away with the results screens because of all the customization stuff you unlock. Ba -ba 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 do I not? There we go. Did I do it? Yeah. Look at all my friends that I saved. There's. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, can I? Do you not have a gun? Well, I guess. Wait, what? Why do they have grenades in their cell, but they don't have guns? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Who lets a fucking prisoner bring a grenade? Please, sir, it's my pillow. I saw Sonic Forces skips. I saw a couple of really fucking crazy tricks that they do where I was just like, man, the amount of time you gotta put into the game. Although, to be fair, Sonic Forces was really fun, I thought. Sonic Forces, like, so, uh, like my perfect kind of game to stream which is the gameplay is good and the story is fucking absurd same as Dragon Ball Dragon Ball was awesome because the gameplay was super tight but then the story was like absolutely ridiculous those are a lot of my favorite streams Sonic games are so broken so the speedruns are good yup yeah, I need to watch more, uh, more of them for sure. Cause yeah, the 3D games are fucking disasters. I think now I can like go up here. No, that was the terminal. Which tried to make me like reinstall the Halo channel or whatever it's called. Hey guys. 
Oh god. Ow. Yells in pain, then a death rattle. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I? Oh, he died. Okay, I thought I died, and I was like, wait, what? I'm not keys? You think Marines say that? Hey, hey! You did it! We made it. Cortana to Echo 419. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Negative Cortana, I've been engaged by Covenant Air Patrol. Oh, you're engaged? Congrats! DBZ story equals e eat everyone? Yeah, no kidding. My favorite part too was when I was, um... I was in Discord yesterday with Derek and Ray. And I was like... Telling him a bit about how ridiculous the Dragon Ball story was. I was like, yeah, so the premise was basically, uh, she like, re revives everyone so that she can eat them to absorb their power. And as I'm saying it, I'm like, what a stupid fucking game. <laughs> but, like I said, super fun. But, man, the padding. Holy shit. As much as I love that game, the padding is like, next level. Just like fighting clones over and over and over, cause like... You need to get stronger! It's like, don't try to hide this bitch, you just padded the fuck out of this. That's all it is. They try to like... Put logic, like uh... We need to get stronger so we can fight 21, so we need to just fight more clones. Oh, the power. Dun 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 What do you want though, over the top storyline about candy or 40 episodes of Goku Orgasm? Oh yeah, I'd much rather 21. She is, uh... She's pretty sweet. <laughs> Give me a minute to interface with the ship's controls. Uh, no need. Uh, Repetitive padding to level up, you talking about Destiny? You're talking about fucking any game ever? That's why I prefer games like this, where it's just like a linear campaign. It's my jam. Like I was saying, I think it was when we were doing Shattered Throne. Imagine Destiny 2's uh, gunplay and environments and music and all that, but with missions like this. Oh, oh! Destiny 2, but with Halo f form, Halo style campaign. I would just fucking nut forever. My wiener would turn into like a fire hose and just. Let's just take the episode. It's true. Dr to be fair, it's very true to form because Dragon Ball is 98%. <sighs> Will Goku be able to finish powering up? Come back next week for another fucking dragged on episode of Dragon Ball B. And how they do the same story every single arc. Like, Goku, you can't take him on, you gotta train! Okay, I'm training, hey, I'm back. Guess what, I'm strong enough now, but I need everyone's power to help me! We did it, as a team, boy, we're, whoa. I mean, I love Dragon Ball, don't get me wrong. And I was fucking obsessed with it as a team. But, it's still anime, therefore stupid as shit. So this mission... The Silent Cartographer. If I'm not mistaken, uh... This is another one that I get lost all the time. Also, look how pretty this is. Wow, look at that. It's like I'm really there. Oh my god, if I stay here too long, I'm gonna get a tan in real life. To be fair though, this is actually really pretty. Oh, it's the halo! Um, okay, so they just... Oh, there it is. So I think there was a thing where it's like it's faster if you go backwards or something. Okay, I just want to try some. Let's go find the map room that will show us. Wasn't it if you go backwards you can save a fuckload of time, or was it just like for a collectible or something? Being a stupid anime, Avatar is four bucks digitally this week, dude. It makes me so salty that I uh, as soon as it got relisted, I bought it for twenty. 
because I was like, 20 bucks for a $5 game is not worth it, but it's such a meme that, like, as an achievement hunter with as much score as I have, I sh like, I have to have it. So, uh, yeah, I did it, and then, like, it immediately has been going on sale every week for, like, four bucks, five bucks. Just like, God damn it. I could have waited, like, two seconds. But whatever. It's all gravy. But yeah, if you guys still have a 360, because it's not backward compatible. If you guys still have a 360, uh, and you haven't played that, it's literally a five... When I say a five minute 1K, that includes load times. That's how short the game is. It's unbelievable. Okay, uh... I was trying... To grenade him in the, in the spinal. Remember, he's the spinal. Dude, the pistol is fucking absurd in this game. Boop. Nope. it's not how you do it. Yeah, I think there's an achievement to, like, one-shot... A hunter... With a pistol, and you basically just gotta line yourself up so that they don't see you. No. That didn't work. Oh, sorta. Of, never mind. Alright, we got him. Cake. Flawless. I keep doing that. I keep miss because uh well to be fair, Halo's controls, you're you usually have to click in the right stick to zoom in, which is gross. I use left trigger. But again, because I've been playing Left 4 Dead, and some of its controls are fucking poop. Such as that, uh, I keep getting mixed up. Like, B is to reload. It's like, what what game is B reload besides Destiny and Left 4 Dead? None, because it's awful. Clearly X is the best button. I mean, DMX even made a song about pressing X will give you ammo. Dude, I, I actually, like, I'm ashamed of how bad my aim is. Holy shit. Dun, 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 dun. I thought that was a human corpse. I want more... More ammo. Also, let's see if this achievement is actually budging. Okay. We might get that, uh... Today? Probably not, but... If not, we'll get it tomorrow, I think. Let's see, we're actually we're in an hour and a half in. We've gone up two percent. Yeah, no, we'll get it tomorrow. <laughs> what poster? He's talking about the one uh in the picture of you with your dog. You have a lady on a poster. I hope you know uh that I told Jesus and you're going straight to heck. Aren't there two hunters here and they're really annoying? Yep. Don't they have fuel rods? Or something? I guess hunters always have fuel rods, idiot. I don't remember if I could just run by them. Please don't. Please don't. Pro strats, baby. Megan Fox as Supergirl? Nice. Station for the main facility, located somewhere else on this island. Shut the system down <clears throat> so the Covenant won't be able to lock us out. We should now have access to the main facility. Oh my god, he was moving during the cutscene. What is it with the frame rate? Hello. Isn't the map room like in the, uh, the other building? See you later, man. Ooh, baby. She had kids and she's got a travel show now, really. Oh. 
Okay, see you, see you guys later. Am I just not gonna have ammo ever? Holy shit! Bravo Twenty Two was bringing us some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Oh oh oh! oh did I clip it properly? Not really. Damn it! Perfect. I think there's a skull up here, isn't there? But you gotta be like on normal at least, or legendary or something. Also, uh, let's see. We got. Really? Nothing? Sure, I'll take the rocket launcher, I guess. Oh. I might as well take that because the pistol is like almost empty too. The water actually looks really good. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. Um. So I think I can like backtrack now, right? Because I went backwards. I think I could just go this way to the next part. It's something like that. I don't remember. I think I did that that backwards thing for an achievement of some kind. Wait, is this is where it went up last time, right? So we're going this way. I think. I don't remember why I did that. Jesus Christ, that first base hit, I was I thought something just hit me in the head. I don't remember, it, maybe it's because no matter what order you do them in, you always have to do the two facilities? Maybe that's why? I honestly, I don't remember, I just, I feel like I did that backwards thing for some kind of achievement. Oh! Hey man, that was cool, how about we don't do it again though? God, oh my god, he bodied me. Easy, by the way. Chat, that reminds me, I was, again, I was working on Left 4 Dead. There's an achievement for a certain level. I think it was like on the parish, the cemetery, uh, where you have to navigate the cars without setting off any alarms. Um, and it turns out it's not very difficult. You just, you can hit white cars, but not red. And if you use a melee weapon, Oh, I wanted to see if I could push him off. I'm an idiot. Well, I'm gonna pay the ultimate price. Um, yeah, so if you use a melee weapon instead of uh, guns and stuff, you reduce your chances, obviously, of accidentally hitting something. But anyways, uh, so I navigate the whole parking lot. No problem. Easy. A fucking tank spawns and punches me right into a car that sets off an alarm. I was like, you son of a bitch. I was so salty, I just shut the game off, and I was like, I'll try this another day. And thanks for wasting 10 minutes, you motherfucker. You know what I just realized? Remember how I was like kiting those those hunters and trying not to get killed by the hunters? Remember this thing that I picked up? Chat, I'm stupid. I'm a dumb man. And I paid the ultimate price. Also, I can hear my... I thought... The invisible sword dude is here. Um, I can hear my fans going, uh, this is X enhanced, is it not? That's why.
Although, I don't see why... Anyways. It, it's not like it's running at 60. I don't think. Okay, why do you do that? Just keep it. As a souvenir. Aiming to perfect the second one on Steam, then move on to the first one. So, so close, but you know, no friends for the final few ones. Yeah. That's the thing, is like, at least it's such a well-known and loved game that it wouldn't be hard to find people. Like, I'm, I'm sure a shitload of my viewers have, uh, you know, fuck you, have Left 4 Dead and would be down to, like, boost shit, but it seems like just a pain in the ass. Like, even there's, like, that achievement for, like, winning a 4v4 or whatever, I'm sure the lobbies are dead enough that I can just, you know, find seven other people to play, but I don't know, maybe I'll see one day. Because, um, it's backward compatible. And I'm sure a lot of people own it. The only thing is, uh, I don't know how many people, like, own it digitally. So I feel like if you played it on the 360 back in the day, you probably had it on disc. But. I have Left 4 Dead 2. Nice. Good to know. That's one of the last ones I need. That one and a few scavenge ones. The scavenge ones are actually, I did them with a second controller. It was fucking easy. So if you have, up, oh, if you have a second controller, it's, it's cake. It just takes a little bit of time. There's like a... I actually just did it last night. Um, there's like the rooftops level. There's something like 21 gas cans. So there's an achievement for getting 15 in one round. That one's just a bit annoying because... Uh, like back in the day, apparently there wasn't special infected, but now there are. And they make you drop the cans. And obviously they'll like fuck you up. Um, so yeah, getting 15 in one round is a little bit annoying, but it's like, a round is a minute and a half, but when you use a can, you get like 30 seconds or something. Um, so yeah, it's basically just like, if you use the rooftops, it's small enough that it's doable. So I used that, and then, um... So there was that. The other one was to get a hundred cans total. So that was just a matter of just like replaying a few times. And then on the infected side, it was to make players drop 25 cans. So yeah, I basically just would attack my dummy controller as a special infected. And then the other one, uh, yeah, so it was 25 like that. And one was like make somebody drop it in overtime. So it's just once the timer hits zero of your second controller, hold it, hit it with the first controller, easy peasy. Can't second controller on PC? Ah, uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Do you not have... Would you not be able to just, like, if you had two USB slots, you could do it? I guess, yeah, you would have to, ha like, own two controllers, have two free slots. All that shit. You know who can't see that happening? The girl from Beyond Eyes. Lol. Nani nani ho there. You know what I fucking... Uh, realized? I don't know if it's true or not, but like I was watching, um... I was watching Oni Plays play Ocarina of Time. I just, I guess the nani thing reminded me of Navi. Like, I... Is, is Navi supposed to be fucking short for navigation? That's why she always tells you where to go and it helps you how to play. And I just never realized that and I feel like a stupid asshole. For USB slot and such, but split screen does not work on local games. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's annoying, but it makes sense. Fucking just blew my mind. It's them that say, say it. Like, one of them says, like, I just realized blah 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 and I was like, Holy shit. Ocarina is what, like 23 years old, and I never realized that? that I'm like, fuck. The map. May like, maybe it's not that at all, but it would make there a lot of sense. That structure appears to be and I felt very not smart. Now I have to leave, right? See what I mean about Halo 1, why I'm not crazy about it now? Because obviously at the time it was like fucking revolutionary and shit, but like, when you think of it, 
Like we went down and now we're going back up. And then we go to a, whoops, we go to another building that looks identical. We go down and we go up. Then the like missions that we did earlier on we have to redo cuz we're like coming back like it's all just back and forth over and over. So remember when we were talking about padding? It just turned 20. So crazy. I remember one thing that I totally forgot about until the other day, actually, was um, Skyward Sword on the Wii. I know a lot of people didn't like it, and like it's not my favorite Zelda at, at all, but I still enjoyed it. But um, that game was dope because it was the 25th anniversary of Zelda. It had a second disc that was gold. And it was like a, um, it was orchestral rearrangements of some of the more popular songs. It was dope. I think there were only like nine tracks, and the volume on the disc was so fucking low that like I never really listened to it. Like I remember ripping it, and it had something like it was like low to the point of like 27% volume or something. It was like. To the point where I could listen to it on my PC, but like in headphones, there's no point because you can't hear shit, which is annoying. But um, man, it just sounded so good, and I just thought that was really cool that they like packaged that in. Ooh. Oh, those are ammo. They look like little fucking bags. They look like they're like going to space and this is their tang. First try, baby. One shot, one kill. Oh, look at my ammo. 117, like the fucking Spartan. Oh, baby. Can't hit what you can't see, bruh. Oh, he's alive? Alright. Sit the fuck down, nerd. Yep. I remembered you. I thought you were gonna be there before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that guy's a motherfucker on higher difficulties. I like how in the previous building, or th no, no, it was this one. But like I turned the corner with the rocket launcher and there's nothing there and I was like, hmm. Oh, is this em is is it empty? Now it is. You know what? I was gonna go get the sword. Fuck it. I'm an idiot, dude. Get the gun. Wait, what? I thought I was out of rockets. I switched the wrong gun and I blew myself up. <laughs> Whoops. Chad, I'm good at games. Here, catch. Oh, that's not Pelican. I, I can't believe that, that death, though. What a stupid idiot. Oh, it is a Pelican. Okay. Ba 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 How many missions were there again? 10 or 15? Uh, Halo CE mission list. This was mission 4 of 10. Hmm. So we're like 70% done. That's pretty cool.
Got some big stripper pole, man. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> I think... I don't remember if it happened to me or it was a stream. But, um... I remember it was like... It spawned... It spawned wrong. And it just like fell into the pit instead of here. It was really funny. I remember actually... Halo 2. Uh, I played a bit of, and then it took me like five months to go back to it because I was so salty. Oh, this is the mission I was talking about, by the way. They added... Oh, no. Unless they went back and added those. I don't... I feel like I read that they added those arrows to help uh, because of how confusing this mission was. But I think you do this area like twice, and I hate it. It was always super confusing, and then, yeah, you like... Do it without the flood, and then with the flood. I remember you can walk in the pit. Yeah, um, yeah. That's and so that's what happened to me in Halo 2, like on a random mission. That happened, but I hit a checkpoint as it happened, and I was like 15 minutes into a mission, and so basically it would just reload, and I would be falling and die, and then it would reload, and I would fall and die. And I was so salty that I was like, I don't feel like restarting the mission, fuck this game, like, I'll come back later. And I, it took me like, five, six months before I was finally like, right, I should go back and finish Halo 2. I was so salty. Hard to believe that I could ever get salty at a game. But, uh, it's true. That's a big fucking door, man. Yep, this is the part that I do not like. Fireteam Zulu. Shaka Zulu. Aren't there more in? Hello? I think there's more, um... Invisible sword dude guys here again. Yeah, this, uh, this music is forever ingrained in my brain because I die here all the time. He's the motherfucking Zulu Nation. Hell yeah. Off your booster seat. Oh god. What an unfortunate time to lose ammo. Hello. Please die, thank you. Uh, nice sword though. Can I borrow it real quick? Can you not take their swords? Oh, that. That's just. Mm. Mm. Also, I don't remember. Can you. Okay, it's right and left on the D pad to change grenade type. Uh, that's frag grenade and that's sticky. Resident Sleeper, this part, yup. It's the best. Everybody loves this part, right? I don't know, maybe people do like this part, but uh, yeah, like I said, I am not a fan. That being said, it's still, still my favorite series alongside Zelda and Trials. But yeah, there's, there's little bits and pieces that I'm not a fan of. Man, my ammo situation is, uh, no bueno. Can I not... Well, well, that accomplished absolutely nothing. Much like me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Activate lift. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> Refresh my memory, chat. Four was after Reach, right? What the fuck? Hello? 
Are you? It was like... It was three, then ODST, then Reach, then four? If I'm not mistaken? The demon! The demon is coming! Where the fuck am I going, dude? Where the fuck am I going, dude? Here we go. It's that? Okay. Yeah, I made like that that group of the games and then I was like, well, I can't exactly separate the Master Chief collection, so was ODST not before Reach that that's what I said, right? It's three then ODST then Reach. Cause yeah, ODST had the had uh threes multiplayer and shit. I think if I'm not mistaken, it was like three had like DLC maps and packs and whatever. And then when ODST came out, it, it was just like all included. ODST then reached them for, yeah. That's what I thought. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can average a pace of like a game in two days. It should be totally doable on easy. And here's... No, we haven't been introduced to the Flood yet. Um... Yeah, the mission like this, but there's Flood? God damn it, that shit's so annoying. I should get that rocket... You know what? Hold up. Uh, rounds for pistol. Yeah, let's do that and... Rocket launcher. Oh, and the health. Hell yeah. Okay. We Gucci. Yeah, like I said, we'll we'll hopefully finish this by tomorrow, and then uh, we'll play the way on Friday, which should take like two days, and then uh, then we'll like dive right into Halo Two. Jesus fucking Christ, I am the worst ever. Oh my god. Also, expect me to get very lost again because, uh... This shit just confuses the hell out of me. Ooh, we got a Scorp. Get yeah, that driftage, though. Hell yeah. You know what? You're not even worth it, dude. You're not even worth it. Uh, what? Excuse me? I disagree, good sir. That works better. But yeah, I mean, um... I gotta look at my games, but maybe we'll go like from two right to three and all that. I'm still deciding, um, people seem to be on board with like spacing them out a bit. Like, instead of just doing every single game, uh, Halo game like back to back, spreading them out a bit, but we'll see. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll play the way between this and Halo 2. But I'll see. There's plenty of shit that I want to stream, but uh, I gotta see. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna separate them with something. Let's say like Halo Noir, uh, Halo Noir. Jesus Christ, Ellie Noir. Like that game is too long to put like between this. That would be like later when I'm done with this series and shit. Are you fucking serious right now, bro? Are you joshing me? Fuck out of here, bruh. Halo Noir would be just be orgasm. Yeah, that'd be pretty pretty hypey. Joe, did you see the the uh, weeb emote that Eternal made me? Pretty dope, man. Also, I added a couple more emotes. I added that Michael Jordan crying face. Um, and I added like hyper bongo. 
It's like Bongo Cat, but it's f fast as shit. I think that's when I said you needed a Fedora emote. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for LA. Yeah. He's got the cockroaches. Filthy cockroach. Oh, nice. I got them. Yeah, I did it. I feel like there's a skull here. I already got it, so who gives a shit? Whoa, wait, whoa, but it's like on one of these things. Whoops. Uh, I'm, I'm annoyed that I, I uh, deleted that Left 4 Dead clip without showing it on stream. When I took the charger and ran my other character like into the abyss. It was so funny. There is still a hunter. Shit. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna hit this thing right next to me, aren't I? Oh, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're just a big dumb stupid head, dummy head. Or what the fuck? Alright, we're good. Whoa. This little prick just busted my shield? In a tank? Motherfucker, is you for real? What's the, uh, Dreaming City stuff that you gotta do, Joe? Like, Shattered Throne and Ascendant challenges and stuff, I assume? Rolling Thunder. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Running Shadow of the Throne on Friday. Cool, cool. I gotta see, it's this week that DDA was home, right? I gotta see if him, Chris, and Jesus Ninja were still down to, to boost some Left 4 Dead. Because there's a, a few achievements that uh, I would need them to help me with. And then there's that one 4v4 one, but I don't know if I'll bother with that one. But, um... Yeah, I gotta see if they'd be down to do that shit off camera. Some of them are easy, it's just you need people. Like, a good example is there's one where uh, you need the three generators activated at once. So it's easy, it's just that you need three people so that each person can grab a generator. And just do the whole, like, three, two, one, go. They did a lot of that in Vermintide uh, as well, actually. In both of them, they added uh, achievements that, like, you need a full team. Because it's like, uh, break all the chains within five seconds and shit like that. I help you with Upper Dead 2, so I'll need a fuck ton of achievements in that. Cool, cool. Good to know. Yeah, it's one of those games where I feel like everybody has it, because it's so classic. And like I said, I've, I've, I'm down to less than ten achievements. And there's a couple that I don't even want. So it's, it's really not bad. I was actually surprised at how easy the majority of them are. It's like ridiculously easy. Like I said, I'm at like 1245 out of 1500 or something and it's been, for the most part, cake. I think I seriously only have seven achievements in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I, what, I finally streamed it like four months ago after having owned it for like a decade. And uh, I was only at like 440 when I was done. But see, overall it has, like there's a bunch of bitchy achievements that are just like easier now because of mutations and whatnot. Like one of them is 
kill a tank with melee damage, it doesn't specify that all the damage done to it has to be melee. So like, good fucking luck doing that solo. Obviously your AI is gonna all pick up guns and whatever, and they're gonna get hits on the tank and all that, but um... Uh, originally the mutations were like weekly rotation and stuff, but now they're all there and you just pick and choose what you want. So like there was one where everybody has chainsaws. So I just gave everybody chainsaws and when we killed the tank I got the achievement. Easy. Or like I said that gnome chowski or whatever it's called. We have to carry the gnome through the whole dark carnival. You just put on the gnome uh, mutation, you load up the very last chapter. You do the concert, and then you just hop on the helicopter with the gnome, and you get the achievement. Like, a lot of it's super easy. Some of it's worse. Because, like I said, now they added special infected to some modes, so it's a pain in the ass. Or stuff like respawns. Like, I think before, let's say the, the, the kill a charger while it's charging with a melee weapon achievement that's driving me nuts. As far as I know, is this not where I just was before? Did I just go in a fucking circle? I want to die. And like I said, this is why I don't like this game. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, the charger thing. Like apparently before, you could just like kill your AI team. You kill the bots and then uh, you just it's just like you and your dummy controller so you like weaken the dummy the dummy charger and then you bash him in the head whatever but now it's like there's special infected and they respawn and they blah, blah, blah. so now it's a real pain in the ass cuz why not uh where the fuck that's where I came from. So I guess we're going down this way. In before I realized that I was supposed to do that. Wait, am I supposed to go in here maybe? Reach the transition to the third chasm. Yeah, sure, cool. Oh my god. Let's slow tonight. I'm down to do shit on Thursday when you're off. All right, that works for me. Or we could do it uh, like before, or after I stream, whatever, whatever works for you guys. But sounds good, homie. Yeah, that actually. Now that I think of it, those pain in the ass ones that I have left with the charger and stuff would be easier with you guys instead of a dummy controller. Oh, we can figure it out. Realistically, I'll probably be getting you guys more achievements than you'll be getting me. Because, like I said, I only need help with, like... Like, three or four. Where am I going? Oh, is it here? Yeah, it is. Alright. Whoa! But yeah, whatever, it's left for dead, so it's always a good time. You know what, speaking of that, as much as like I've been saying that I'm not the biggest fan of this one, I'm having a really good time. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And if you're not, you know, go fuck yourself. <laughs> she bruh? Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Don't fall off. Oh, baby. Baby, baby, baby. And I, this is stupid, this is really stupid. Can we make it work? Splash damage, please. I got him. I did it. Dude, I am a legend. <laughs> See? Let's move. I don't remember if I could blow up dropships. I don't think so. I think they're 
basically invincible. But let's try it, man. Yeah, rip. Go on! I don't remember if I'm just, like, coming back up. No, but you mean it reminds me of the one in Half-Life 2, which I have all the achievements in, but I'm missing the four per- The four achievements in the orange box, which I'll probably never knock out, fair enough. But yeah, the, the gnome is a reference to Half-Life. I was looking at my achievements there, or one I have- One I have left is survival campaigns and expert. The one I have not done, I did an expert, and the person I did it with turned around and gunned me down steps from the ending. Wow. What a cunt. What a cunt. Three for time trials in Portal and then a thousand kills in, t in Titanfall 2. In Team Fortress 2, really? That actually doesn't sound too bad considering how much people played that game, but yeah. I feel ya. I guess we gotta go down in here, right? Hence why they put a sh uh, cloak. God, the soundtrack is incredible. Yeah, I got a cloak too. Yeah, bish! Sweet moves, bro. I like your little pirouette. Bow! Jesus Christ, I look painful. Time trials are not that bad, to be fair, like an hour or two and it's done. And most of the tracks take less than 30 seconds. Okay. It's not bad. Then again, depends on how difficult they are. It's like saying uh, getting platinum medals in trials is not too bad because tracks are like a minute. But good fucking luck getting that minute. Bah, bah, bah. I like how they're like intense. Get it? Bah, bah. See how intense it is? Please stop shooting me, sir. Please stop shooting me. Motherfucker boy. Uh, what's in here? God, it's so rough not having sprint. And not being able to, uh, to move and crouch. Feels bad, man. Right. Oh, dude. Listen to that, that bass, though. I'm all about it. Not that treble, though. Snitch. Snitches get stitches, bitch. Little sprint, what do you have? T-Mobile or Verizon? Heh heh heh. Heh Oh, you know, speaking of that, I just remembered I have to phone Rogers in the morning. I fell too behind on my phone bill and they cut off my, uh, data. And then when I was having smoke before, I got like an automated message like, Hey, phone us. And I'm like, God damn it. With portals, puzzle rather than skill. Yeah, so once you know the solution, yeah. Once you know what to do, the challenge is gone. That makes sense. That's like, um... So I guess it's like any puzzle game. When you gotta either do like a, like let's say Limbo. When you have to play the whole game in one sitting with five or less deaths. The, the not dying is hard. But at first it's like, playing the game in one sitting seems super daunting. But then yeah, once you know... The solution to everything, you know. I think when I did it, it took me 45 minutes. Uh, do you have an assault rifle? Ah, whatever. We don't need it. We got 120 pistol rounds. Blap, blap, sucker. That's not where you go, chat. Is this... I feel like this is where we're gonna learn about the f- Nope, never mind. Okay, limbo only... 
achievement I have left is that, and I keep fucking it up on the last puzzle because I get cocky. And it's also just really cunty. The timing has to be so precise. It's so easy to choke, and it's so easy to choke more than once. I was like shitting bricks when I got to that point. I remember I left I left that achievement aside for years. Because on the 360, it was worth 10 of the 200 gamer score. And I remember just being like, fuck this. It's impossible, and I'm not putting that kind of time in for such a little reward. And then, um, then it got re-released on the 1, and that achievement was worth 100 of the two, of the 1,000 gamer score. So I was like, alright, let's 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 actually practice this time. And, uh, I don't know, I maybe played the game like 10 hours. It was not that bad. But, you know, it had been years, so I still had to, like, look up guides for some parts and stuff. I had no idea, no idea what I was doing anymore. But, uh, I basically, like, I popped the achievement in, on the one, and I was like, holy fuck. And then I was like, okay, while it's fresh and I know what I'm doing, I, like, immediately turned the 360 version on and did it uh, right after. So I did, like, four, about 45 minutes each run. And, uh, yeah, back to back. Super stressful, and I actually died, uh... Even though I just did them back to back, I think I died twice on the one, and then I died four times on the 360, and I was, like, shitting bricks. So I would say that the 360 is actually a little harder, just because it's harder to see. There's some parts, you, you wouldn't think it, because it's such a, mi a minimalistic game. But they actually improved the graphics a decent amount, and um, on the 360, there's some parts that are like pitch black, whereas on the one, they're actually like detailed. Um, so it, like it helps see where the hell you're landing and stuff like that a little bit better. Man, that that bonus area in the in pitch black, that didn't have an achievement on the 360, but it did in the one. That was tricky. It's kind of cool though. Go to sleep, bitch. I haven't played Resident Evil 1 in 15 years and going to it last night. I can't believe I played through it on the GameCube. The controls are so bad. I know. I I played it for like, fuck, half an hour as a kid. I remember renting it, being so stoked. And then that fucking zombie next to the mirror that like, when he looks dead and you walk past and he grabs your ankle. I was like, nope. I damn near shit my pants, I was so scared. And I literally just brought it back to Blockbuster and never played it. And then, four, three, four years ago, or two, three years ago, whatever, whenever the, the remaster came to the one, um, my buddy sent me a code, and I streamed it for like an hour, and I was like, I, I hate everything about this, the controls, the cameras, everything is terrible. Holy shit. It was, uh... Really not a good time. That being said, I watched Ray. I watched Ray stream a bunch of it. Cause he just streamed like I don't know five, six playthroughs, and he got the the one thousand. And he stacked some playthroughs that were like brutal. Like he did the uh, explore every room with the don't save at all. And then last night or the night before? No, I guess Sunday because we're Tuesday today. Or, wait, did he? I don't remember. Anyways, he did... Oh no, he did it last night because it was like... He did a bonus stream? I, I honestly, I don't remember. Anyways, he stacked fucking invisible enemies and only the knife. So, it looked awful, but it made for very entertaining viewing. And then he's like, Shiz, you ever played this? I was like, yeah, never again. I think I've like... I, I think his last achievement was to die once, and I think that's the only one that I have. Uh, 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 uh. Although he obviously like cheesed it for the meme, it reminded me of uh, of final. Vermintide is a very difficult co uh, completion that takes hundreds of hours, and his last achievement was doing the tutorial, which I thought was hilarious. He's a machine and he's not human. That's true. Yeah, it helps when you're a robot. At that point, is it even considered, like, hacking? Or are you just, like, being you? 
you know? Can you even give a robot shit for hacking? Think about it. Think about, think, think about it. Shot a zombie three times in the head and it didn't go down, so I got murdered instantly. Yep, sounds about right. And then you know that there's like no ammo in the game and you're just like, all right, this is a... This is what people considered fun back in the day. Neat. But you know what, speaking of fun, I was watching him play Guacamelee 2. Um, which comes out, uh, it actually, it comes out in 10 days, but there's a 20% pre-order discount. So it's 16 instead of 20. Yeah, I fucking love the first game. It's just, some parts were really tough for the completion, but overall it wasn't too, too bad. But it's, it's a tricky platformer, Metroidvania. But I just love it. And then watching that, like, it literally, as soon as I turned on the stream and I see the first screen, I was like, yep, I'm down. But, uh, man, I can't wait to fucking play that. I shall definitely be streaming it. Not hacking, he's interfacing with it. Yeah, I'm actually, cu I'm, I'm curious now. Let's see, Resident Evil. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah, I've never been a Resident Evil fan because between the alpha controls and cameras and just being a scaredy pants poopy poopy pussy boy, uh, I just I can't do it, man. Um, oh, I have 20 gamer scores. Sorry. I played for an hour and 16 minutes. November 2015. Die for the first time and defeat a zombie. Guacamelee 1 was really fun, did two of the three versions of it back-to-back -back for completions, wow. Really fuck with my head since new paths were added and with different- Oh, like the Super Turbo Championship Edition, I assume? Because it was like DLC? Yeah, see, it, that one took a couple of years to come to Xbox, so by the time it came to Xbox, it had all the uh, DLC included. I think it was on Steam and PlayStation like a good two years prior. Um, and it's also on the 360, but the 360 doesn't have the DLC. I checked it today. It's worth a thousand. Um, and then, yeah, when it came to the one, it was a Super Turbo Championship Edition, but they also did like a title update later, which was weird. So I remember I got the completion, I was super stoked. And like I was saying before, um, I'm missing one of the fucking DLC achievements. Because on hard, I didn't get all the collectibles. And all that, so I wasn't strong enough to do that gauntlet shit. So I have like 1170 out of 1200, and I just can't th do that last one, and I, it drives me nuts. And the co-op the co is only local. If it was online, I would find somebody to carry me. Because yeah, the, the com uh, completions, the collectibles would like incre increase your health, your stamina, your like ultra bar, whatever it was called in that game. So yeah, not having any of that shit on hard is just like, gee fucking gee, dude. Alright, that was dumb. I'm just killing them because I know there's like, uh... There's, I think there's achievements for killing X amount of hunters and stuff. They're obviously not very common. So might as well do it, right? Like, I don't have any of those like, kill a thousand brutes and blah blah blah, because I just... I did like my base playthroughs and that was about it. Is there not a pistol? There's pistol rounds. Or is there no pistol here? Here we go. Um, got that. Uh, I want a salt rifle. No, a pistol is fucking dope. Is this not okay? That's a salt rifle ammo, I guess. Anyways, um, there we go. This is still okay. Um. Yeah, I did like the... In this I did the campaigns. Then I did... I played some like multiplayer for fun or whatever. I did the multiplayer shit like the skulls or whatever. So you could like just go in against a dummy controller. Analyze. Get what you need. I remember this fucking achievement. I was like don't let the elite get to the... To the banshee or something. Or like destroy the banshee before somebody... Uh, here it is. Fucker. God damn it. 
But it was like on heroic or legendary or some garbage. Gold edition, then the Super Turbo Championship edition. Wish I had grabbed the standard edition as well, but they removed it on Steam and replaced it with the gold one. That makes sense. Yeah, they did it on Xbox with Ori and the Blind Forest. When the definitive edition came out, they delisted the normal one. So, like, if you own the normal one, you could still play it and install it, whatever. But, uh, they removed it from the store. Same as, like, I guess there's a couple of games they did that. They did with, uh, with Minecraft. When the Better Together version came out, they delisted, uh, the Xbox One edition. Get the shit out of it. The month I went games of gold it was pretty tough. Yeah, it's... It's pretty tough, like, it's it's a lot of the, like, the challenge stuff that's really fucking hard for the completion. Like the... Like, get gold on the chicken challenges or whatever the hell it was called. That was... That was tricky, and like, the... Get all the combos. Some of that stuff was a bit rough. But, um... Actually, I can tell you right now, the, the, the one that I didn't have. It was... Because, yeah, like I said, I did the base game. Uh, I didn't touch the 360 version, but maybe eventually I'll stack it. Uh, here, defeated the Great Temple's two lightning skeleton arenas on hard uh, in co-op or as Jaguar. Jaguar has, like, less health or something. So it's really hard. And then on co-op, uh, the game scales. Like, I remember my buddy, like I said, we co-oped on hard and there was one boss where... He ended up dropping out, and then we took turns trying it solo. Because, again, without all the buffs... Uh... It was fucking awful. And then, yeah, I was like... Maybe it's easier solo. And sure enough, it was. A lot easier. Be Kalaka with the Diablo suit on without taking damage. What was the Kalaka suit again? Diablo was obviously the final boss, right? Was that on an Xbox achievement? I don't remember. Rings a bell. But yeah, really, really good game. And then too, like I said, it just looks like more of the same. It's also, um... Like I said, it's 20 bucks, 16 if you pre-order on the Xbox, but what's cool is it's like... 1,340 gamer score because it comes with the DLC. I guess they bundled it up again. Which is cool. Uh, I like it when they do that. Like, if, if a game comes to one platform a lot later, I like it when it's all bundled. Like, we had that with Rocket League. When it finally came to Xbox, it was like the, the updates that PlayStation and Steam got were like just free. And then, yeah, like, Guacamelee 1 was the su Super Turbo Championship Edition by default. Black was the final boss. Diablo suit gives more stamina, melee hits, steal HP, and you have less HP. That's it. I don't remember if I did that. I mean, if it was an Xbox achievement, then I did. I just... It's, it's been years, so I don't remember that shit. Like, according to... The past couple of years, when True Achievement sends me my yearly uh, summary, uh, the past two years, three years, I've averaged like 250 games a year. So, yeah, sometimes I don't remember things. <laughs> That's always my favorite too. Was when people ask me like, "Do you remember this achievement or this this thing?" And I'm like, "I what game are you? What that was a thing?" Thanks, homie. That was weird. Uh... What am I doing? I wonder if... I want to try something. This is going to be dumb, but yeah. When does good gameplay happen? Like Halo 3? Hey, 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 what up, Chris? Does this work?
Hmm. Okay. Chris, how you doing, man? Welcome back. I'm gonna get shot off at the top, aren't I? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Okay, I've gone too high now. I wonder if I slide down. Will I? Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I'm dead. Shit. You're getting the Scarab Gun in Halo 2, though? I want to try it one more time just because it's... You're obviously supposed to go up there. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it normally. Please don't shoot me, sir. Oh, good. There's hunters and shit. Wait, what? It's alright. I got through it because of my sweet 360. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. Great, great, great. Wart, wart, wart. You know, wart, 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 uh, backwards, says, man, shiz his chat, what a, what a bunch of good-looking people. Crazy, I know, but it's true. Hello. All right, well, you want to high-five me? Fuck you, bitch. Here, hold this. Thanks, man. <laughs> Unequalized. Perfect emote. Oi, bruv. You having a fucking laugh? Hell yeah, quick scope. Domed them. One shot, one kill. Esports. Why does Shiz never say such nice things about us? Why well, just what? Oh, buddy! Hey, man! Seems like you're down with the thickness. This is why I voted for the Covenant. <laughs> Four more years. Four more years. Wart, wart, wart. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably die, but... Ow. Speedrun strats, baby. Are you serious? I went up there for nothing? What? Well, whoa. Easy, Mr. Moon Boots. Can you fucking die this year? Please, sir. Alright, we good. Okay, what up, man? What it do? B uh, excuse me? B excuse me? You know what? Let's do it with this thick old boy. It's clobbering time. Are you serious? There you go. Man. Smooth. I feel this is one of those missions this and then the other one like it I find they're like three hour missions I feel when I'm playing this I'm just like this is my life I can see Uranus. <laughs> Look at all those subwoofers. Most of the Covenant is thicker than cold peanut butter. Nice. 
After this cutscene, by the way, I'm just going to run to the bathroom. That terminal, try there. Yeah, Nicolas, so good. You all right? Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information and knowledge so much, so fast. It's glorious. It's glorious. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring, it's Forerunner. Give me a second to access it. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The Captain. We've got to stop the Captain. Keys? What the weapons we... cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find Keys. Stop him. Before it's too late! Three, four, three, guilty spark. Okay, we're done with that mission. Beautiful. Also, shout out to that random ass sky flash. That reminds me when I played, uh, I was talking about before how I played Halo 1 and 2. I played them on the 360. There were some games that were backward compatible on the 360 from like the OG one. And I remember Halo 2 was like badly done. So you would be like inside, but you would see the skyline from outside. It was such a mess. Okay, let me pause this. And I'm going to go get some water and I pressed the wrong button. I'm going to get some water and run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. The hottie's got a potty is really funny, Joe. I just remembered something. I've always had that labeled as AFK when BRB makes a lot more sense, idiot. That only took me, what, two years? Three years? GG's. How are you guys liking this playthrough, by the way? And question, has the quality ever, like, blurred up since I, start since I started? 
I'm curious if it was like just Dragon Ball because of how much was going on in that game or if it's a consistent thing like I'll double check the recording later but I've never quality is always kind of blurry oh yeah hmm are you trolling so every time I like double check stuff it usually looks good but I'd have, I'm gonna have to check this game later. Missing one collectible in Lego HP. Oh, Harry Potter. It was a joke. Okay, bastard. Uh, it may or may not be glitch preventing the last 240 gamer score from being unlocked. That's a big fucking chunk, dude. Jesus. Yeah, this is the mission that I was trying to farm kills for the uh, achievement, and it didn't work. But yeah, I'm going to double check tonight to see uh, if it looks nice and clear and all that shit. Like I said, I think it was just um, Dragon Ball is just because it was so fast. Because then I was like looking at some stuff, like I noticed uh, Grip sometimes got a little bit blurrier. Um, like any game that got stupid fast, got a bit blurry, but like never as bad as Dragon Ball. But like this should look fine, and like I said, if anything, it should look better. Since I uh, swapped that one cable, every every other cable is, I mean, new or like, like I said, the Xbox cable is the one that came with the system and shit like that. So. Then the, the other thing I wondered is the cable going from my computer to my TV. I don't know how old that one is. I I feel like it's only a couple years. But I was like, I wonder if that would be worth changing. I mean, I don't notice any delay. It's more just when I uh, turn anything on. It takes a little while because it's got to run through the PC. There's like a 10, 15 sec second delay. And then after that, everything's like perfect. But I wonder if that would always be there or if, if, if I were to change the cable, if it would be uh, any quicker. Again, it's not worth spending like 25 bucks on, but you know, I'm an anal idiot, so. Um, right, I have to go like around and up and all that shit. Uh, okay. Where the hell's the door? Actually, speaking of kills. Oh, 97%? Kill 250 hunters. Fuck me, dude. How am I even at 80 something percent? I feel like I didn't play this that much. Then again, maybe. Is this where I just came from? I assume so, assuming as they're dead. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what, we've been alive for three hours? I might shoot for like finishing this mission and then doing one more. Or is this where I came from? God damn it. This. Oh, right, I have to go up there. It's fucking game, man. But this is... Mi I want to say this is mission 6 of 10. Sorry, homeboy. Yeah, I want to say this is mission 6 of 10. Um, So we're making really good progress. So we should be able to finish tomorrow. It really just depends on lost I get. I'm just running around in circles because I want to see if there's any assault rifle ammo but it doesn't look like there is which sucks he only had pistol ammo god damn it alright well uh was it I have to go up here God, the jumping's so floaty, but so shitty. 
Yeah, I have to go up here and interact with the screen. Alright, dude. Or not? Was it a monitor in here? I remember it's a monitor. Oh, nice ammo. Beautiful. Uh oh yeah, it's like down here. Oh, the music. Cool. You're about to give up, motherfucker. Close, Jenkins. Mendoza, move it up. Yo, Mac have finally completed PUBG. Hell yeah. Wait here for the captain. GG's, man. Sir. Okay, let's move. Man, something smells good, and it's making me so hungry, and I hate it. This is mission six, right? Something I think Halo CE mission list. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? Yeah, six of ten. What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a government patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. I'm wondering, maybe we'll stop after this mission. Nah, we just met. And then to I guess I guess worst case now we'll see. Worst case is tomorrow if I finish really early, then we'll just start the way tomorrow. Right. Well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll we'll see. We'll we'll see how long this mission takes. But if we do seven out of ten today. Then it'll give us some time to, to start the... the way. Got a bad feeling about he said the thing. Yeah, I guess... Fuck, my bad. The cutscene's been too quiet, right? My bad. I have to remember to What's going on, change soldier? the volume every cutscene. Yo, shitty streamer confirmed. One day off, he forgets how to do everything. Corporal, do you copy? Over. Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your. Yeah, I think this is the point of the game where everything just gets reversed, right? What is like we're gonna that? go back through all the snow it's shit. Coming from Mendoza. I don't. etc. Mira, mira. mira. Let 
Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jacob! Fire your weapons! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Marine. What is it, Coco? Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jacob! Pussy boy. Hello, you old pussy boy. Game reverses, but that's how they were able to fit so much in. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing is like limitations and stuff, but obviously it just feels like, whoops, it just feels like boring ass padding now, right? But back then, that's how they, that's how they like trick the system, so to speak. Man, the craziest shit, like, ever, as far as, um, like, working with what you got and saving space and whatnot. Can you believe that, like, back in the day, the original Pokemon games, which were long games, they were, like, 28 megabytes? Can you imagine? I just looked at my credit card statement and they owe me $86. Oh my god. I fucking wish. That's amazing. Forgot about the thick boys. Oh, don't they like get up too when you kill them sometimes? And the, the wow, the reticle even goes blue so it acts like you actually killed them. Great. Great, great, great. That's the shit that blows my mind to how those games are so tiny. It makes no sense, dude. And then you got like Red Dead that's 100 gigs. Fucking ridiculous, man. Alright, yeah, like I said, now I don't know what the hell I'm doing and where to go. But I assume we're just... Just busting a big ol' 180. God, the... The radar is just scary. It looks like my radar is fucking acne. Oh, this just locked on me? Are you serious? It was just green, was it not? I wonder if it's just I have to kill everybody. Or... At least the, uh, the Flood and the Covenant fight each other. That's cool, that's cool. Checkpoint done. Or maybe it's just before I was working my way up, so now we gotta work our way down. You have to kill to break quarantine, that makes sense. Huh. Oh, there's such motherfuckers. Man, I know people... People don't like the Forerunner. But I like them a hell of a lot more in the flood. I hate the flood, they're so creepy. Too spooky. Oh poop my pants. On an account of the spookies. Uh alright, little bastards. I should melee them to save ammo, but you know. Stupid. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What day are we? We're Tuesday, right? Yes, okay, so tomorrow, like I said, streaming this, and yeah, Thursday day off. Sure, we can bang out some Left 4 Dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.
See that one-handed clutch play? He's a god. He's a gaming god. Noise. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, we gotta go up, I guess. I'll install that now while I'm done with D2 for the night. Fair enough. Can't be too big, anyways, right? Do you have all the DLC for it, by the way? Lightspeed. I don't remember. Did you? Uh, what did you say you were working on? Was I not just here? You dumb motherfucker. Remember when I said I get lost all the time? Oh yeah, were you continuing um, sleeping dogs? The flood, yeah, the flood are fucking too spooky. I can... Excuse me? Got all the DLC on sale, and then my friend who I bought it to play with gave up gaming. Oh, I remember you saying that. That's crazy. Alright, well, at least you have the DLC. You can do that shit. Do that shit, do that shit, do it. <laughs> wow. Just a little bit of a difference, yeah? Cardi and Coke do it, do it. Man, now I want to drink. Ho up, drank. Something, drank. Swimming pool, drank. Friends who has those. Man, I swear, when I go back to work in a couple of weeks, one of the first things I'm doing is uh, going to the bar. Because I used to I used to go once or twice a week. Seeming as um, I always had to like wait 25 minutes for my bus. And like across the street is the bar and it's happy hour on the way home. So it's either like one beer for three fifty or two beers for seven bucks. So I'd go once or twice a week and just like grab a quick beer while waiting for the bus instead of you know waiting outside or roaming the mall. Anyways, so I haven't fucking been in forever, so I want to say hi to my friends there. But um, also they have some fucking amazing uh, nachos that I've been craving like a motherfucker. So I gotta, I gotta go and get on that. All right, so I gotta activate the light bridge, which I do by doing something. Oh, hey, marine! Did I just stick the marine? I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry, homie. Sexual. Chat. Maybe I'm gonna join, join in on the like YouTube trends, and I'm just gonna name this like Halo CE Part One. And then in parentheses, gone sexual. And then I'll get all the views and the money, right? That's how that works? Look at this little cheeky bitch. What is this? Ah! Oh shit. Got my last PUBG achievement before Shiz got his first eyes emoji achievement unlocked. Noise. Yeah, congrats on the 1k. I just saw that on TA. Crazy, man. It took you, what, like 750 hours? Insane. You get views and money if you showed Twitch alerts for si 69 bit cheers. If you showed Twitch alerts for si Yeah, I should I should make a it, only reason I uh, I don't have one, honestly, is that I tried a couple of times doing alerts that were like a hundred or less and they just never worked. Like I wanted to do one uh for, it was like for fifty? And in it played the the like little bits from Rick and Morty, and it just never fucking worked. See, so yeah, I just kept uh, I kept the minimum a hundred. 
And thank you for the 69 bits. <laughs> I found it. The game is completable. Hell yeah. GG. Just imagine that song 38 degrees of fucking when you donate Maca. Nice. What's up, Kevin? I still I think that's the only alert that's never gone off. And somebody said that they wanted to set it off. I think it was uh CJ. He said he wants to like set off every single alert at some point. But yeah, I still gotta play PUBG. Actually, I gotta see, maybe... Maybe instead of the way tomorrow, maybe I can get the guys together to do that. Why is it... Is it not this? God damn it. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, congrats again, Maka, on the, uh... The 1K, how was it streaming on your your new system? Now the alerts don't work. I know how to set it up, it's like any other alert. But for some reason anything under a hundred just never worked for me. Enjoy night, I'll be back if you're still live in a few yeah, I'm still debating on if I wanna finish if I wanna go like three and a half hours or four. We'll see, I think I might, depending on how long this mission takes, I might do one more. We shall see. But I'm making pretty good time. We're three hours deep and I'm mission six of ten. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now, but you know. Are your alerts in American monies? Yeah. Yeah, just because, um... Bits are, like, in American, I guess. Like, a one bit is an American penny, so I just did, like, donation alerts the same, so they match. My meeting tomorrow got cancelled, so I'm down for PUBG. Sweet Chris, what about you? Are you down for, uh, for PUBG tomorrow? I know DDA's off this week, so it would work. What am I doing? I Like I said, this fucking game is so confusing, I find. I really, really prefer the other ones. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um... I'm gonna have to watch a bit of Maka's stream later. Because, uh, his... I'm assuming that it must have looked even better, seeming as his beast-ass PC can run that shit, like, flawlessly. I don't know, maybe I do have it. Noise? Oh great, I have no fucking ammo. Hell yeah. That's fun. Stay down, bitch. Yeah, I've been following the green doors, it's just fucking a mess. But, like I, like I was saying... This whole time is that just a Halo one I'm just not a fan of. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> nice. Is this not where I just was? I guess not. Hey, thanks for the ammo though. Thanks for also getting up, you bitch. Look, it's the new Elgato lights. Elgato. Man, Elgato have been fucking killing it though. Yesterday they announced like 50,000 new products and I just don't want all of them. I guess maybe this guy? It fucking all looks the same. Like I get that it's... You know, because it's an old game. But goddamn, is it annoying and disorienting. Halo 1 sucks. Yeah, I'll say it, bitch. All I have to do there are nine custom levels, then buy M Moldy Wart and do the final bonus level. Hell yeah. How long uh, should that take you then? 
Also, is the game good? I've heard good things about it. This is where it just came from, right? I think? God, I hate this mission so much. This and the outdoor snow shit? Awful. I don't see any other where any other place to fucking go. I obviously gotta get up here. Maybe I can do it from this end. Mayhaps. Oh, get up there, you fat cow. You fat cow, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, chat. Big surprise. I'm just really stupid and bad at games. Who would have thunk it? I fell because I'm stupid and bad at games. GG's, you motherfucking moron. Whee! I guess he fell in the middle. Lego Harry Potter is fun. Been playing while watching a uh, AGQ. That makes sense. Yeah, I was watching uh, either AGDQ or Ray play Resident Evil while I've been working on um, be 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 Left 4 Dead. Man, Resident Evil on one monitor and Left 4 Dead on the other. Too spooky. Too spooky. Fucking more like Left 4 Dead too spooky, am I right, boys? <laughs> All right. Fucking kill me. There we go, we got the energy bridge. I said light bridge, because I'm uh, a fake gamer grill. Back off, vile demons. Yo, Deej with that host. What up, dude? Thank you, thank you. Welcome back, how's it going? Boop. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Leave me alone. Leave Brittany alone. It's going word. I hate watching Resident Evil 1 is such a I just liked watching Ray do it because like I said, he was stacking playthroughs that were fucking stupid. <laughs> like invisible enemies and knife only. I was just like, what are you doing, man? But obviously he's the fucking hacker robot, so. We gotta get out of here. Oh, look at this pretty pretty beautiful. Mmm. So bulbous, some bulbous sacks. Hell yeah. But uh, what uh, yeah, I didn't watch you play because it was you. No, but um, I think it's like you were streaming it while I was uh boosting Dragon Ball with Derek. So I had to like pay attention to what I was doing, anyways. I think the gel in those cheese tastes good. I don't know. Uh, I think that's actually where Monster comes from. It's so jarring every time the camera switches. I hate it. I, and I hate it too because there's so many rooms where the camera switches in a way where the direction you're holding makes you leave the room that you just walked into. If that makes sense. I remember that happened in a random ass game, but at ukulele it happened. And I was like, you fucking stupid asshole. Why? Like, I'd be holding down, and then enter a room, and then holding down would make me leave. And I'm like... What? Like, you didn't account for this, you bitch? Anyways. But I also just hate everything and nitpick everything, so... Maybe people love having their time wasted. I think I played it very briefly when it came out on the GameCube. Resident Evil 4 was amazing, so I was like, oh cool, another Resident Evil. <laughs> they done another RE1 and RE0 with the RE4 engine. It would have been much better. Yeah, fair enough. Like a... An actual remaster instead of like just prettying it up. But I guess uh, Resident Evil 2 will be like that. I wonder what they'll do, because I know, one, you have the option of tank controls, or like, I guess modern controls or whatever. 
But because the game is designed like it is, apparently uh, the tank controls are way better. So I don't know, man. Where am I going? Again, I just, I never know where I'm going in this game. Also, there's sentinels now? Alright. I think I'm just like looking for a, a tree. <laughs> no, I'm looking for like a ship or something, right? I don't fucking know. I hear Guilty Spark. Do you think he likes the Rasmus? Sure. I can't play spooky games, I get too spooked. Same. Same, I am what's known as a bitch. I am three four three guilty spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come this way. Erasmus reference, holy shit, I love that band. I still love them. I haven't listened to them forever. But, they're amazing. Alright, the library. You know what, let's just get it out of the way. Because I fucking hate this so much. I could barely even listen to people play PT. Man, PT was fucking terrifying. I was so intrigued by Resident Evil 2 as a kid when I saw the N64 version covered in Nintendo Power. Man, the stuff that I've s that they've shown, like uh, you know, E3 and whatnot, for Resident Evil 2, like for what it is, it looks incredible. But I was just like, nope. <laughs> Fucking Chris. I have an SMG now. By SMG, I mean shotgun. It was joke. I hate this level so much, so if I'm not mistaken, the thing about this level is that they spawn infinitely, so just like keep moving. Right? Those explody boys, some big ol' fat sacks. Oh god, I've made a mistake already. Man, I remember watching Ray do this for his 2 million stream, and... This on Legendary, I was like, why would anybody willingly do this shit? Am I going here? Get the blue thing! No. Alright, that was not even worth the joke. Because it wasn't funny. <clears throat> Alright, um... <laughs> oh yeah, isn't it like, Guilty Spark unlocks doors and I have to take them something like that I don't know sick flippy did on the landing thanks man yeah I was a uh, secretly practicing this game off camera for months so I hope that uh, you guys all like that really cool fancy trick god now I just want to listen to guilty by the Rasmus <laughs> hate myself Whoa. Dude, and I even know how to sing it perfectly. Crazy. Yeah, I'm out of curiosity. Okay. Halo 2 is garbage, though. Um, I feel like that game I didn't like when I originally played it. But I liked it when I played it on this. I know there's some specific missions that I really like. Can I have your ammo, please? Hey, thanks, man. Oh, God. Good thing I put on casual, uh, super ultra extreme impossible difficulty. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh, uh, am I going the right place? There he is. Oi, bruv. Oi, bruv. So yeah, um, TA said to just grind flood kills. When you first find the flood, that one room, I was just like reloading the checkpoint and the tracker never went up. 
going up today though, so hopefully these little fuckers count as kills. Maybe it's just that these little dudes don't count, it's only the big ones. That would make more sense. Also, man, I am so hungry. You know when you're like shaking? You're all like shaky and weak? That only started happening to me like as I got older and I hate it. I used to be able to go like the whole day without eating and be fine and now I'm like a frail old man. I'm like, I'm hungry. I forget what song, but Erasmus always play when I worked electronics retail. I went the wrong fucking way. God damn it. Or did I? Can I go in here? No, I can't. Oh god, I'm gonna die on easy. Again, why do people play this on legendary? Can I have the ammo, please? Thank you. Yeah, let's seriously just go. Sweet. Sweet sound effect, bro. Which way? Show me the way! Uh, they have the music video in a loop. Oh my god, hello. One second. Uh, a bunch of other things, so I was like, eh, this is kind of good, so I bought the album and I never really listened to it. Which song is it? In the Shadows? Hell yeah. Dude, the Rasmus are the shit. I had like four or five of their albums that, and I like, loved them all. Fuck you. God damn it. You're the opposite. You like Halo originally than not on this. I should make some chicken tenders. I wish I had more time because I've run out of components of food like butter. Rip. But yo, some some tendies? You can never get tired of tendies. If you do, you belong in jail. I'll say it. If you don't like chicken tendies, you are probably a demon spawn. And you deserve to be locked in a fucking cage like the animal you are. Oh, I don't have grenades? Great. Blap, blap, suck. Okay, this is not, this is not ideal. This is not ideal. The explosions hurt a lot. Way too much, in fact. Oh my god. At least it hurts them too, though. Was this health? Yeah, it is. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, doggy. Man, if my shield could just fucking recharge. Yeah, or not, whatever. God, it takes forever in this game. Fuck off, son. These explode away from me. I'm dead. Never mind, that was actually a speedrun strat. Uh, the explosion gave me a speed boost. Yeah, that's what that was. Even vegetarians might like chicken tenders. Who knows what they're actually made of? Yes, yeah, true. Sure, it sure isn't chicken, so who knows? Maybe it's made from flood trees. One can only hope. No, hey, low, hey, low, hey, low. I did it. They're made of space dust. Sugar, water, purple. That's what they're made of. Nice. Good reference. Delicious flood trees. Mmm. Oh, I hate it. I'm so shaky. And you know what I had for for supper before? I had egos. Because I was like... I don't know why, but I just have a fucking crazy craving for egos, and I have them. So, it shall be done. <laughs> That's why I got pipes like this, boys. Because I eat them fucking Gaines foods. Now I want egos, right? I'm sorry, it's one of those things where like, once it pops in your head, you're like, God damn it. Like, uh, I've been craving those nachos from the bar. And, um, Taco Bell. I've been craving Taco Bell for literally like two years now, and I just never get off my fat ass and get it. I mean, now I don't want to, because it's stupid to like, go out and get food when uh, it's, you know, expensive bad shit and I don't have to be out and I don't want to spend money on anything. But um, 
yeah, when I'm back at work, maybe on like a day off, I'll do that. Because it's also just out of the way. Like, super out of the way. Hopefully one day Taco Bell is like Starbucks and there's one like in everybody's backyard. Well, this problem where I have a really high metabolism, you think it's a blessing until you have to be constantly eating snacks or you freeze to death in the winter? Yeah. I'm the same. Or I'm, I, for me it's weird. I've noticed that like while I've been home. I like never eat breakfast like I don't eat until like two or three but once I start eating then it's just like game over then I'm just a fat fuck and like an hour after I've eaten I'm like oh, I've never eaten in my life I'm gonna fucking collapse and die like right now I'm so shaky that I can barely like aim you can argue that I can't aim normally anyways but I'm like like awful right now oh right they have fucking rocket launchers now I remember uh, even more why I hate this level besides the uh, the exploding nutsack boys fucking rockets yikes oh DA uh why did I say DA? Um, Deej, good luck with that, man. Hopefully everything's all gravy. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, but it's just like a follow-up. So it's it's just annoying because it's like it snowed a shitload today and it's supposed to sh snow a shitload more tomorrow. So it's just annoying that I have to go out and that stuff to just be like, yeah, hey, I'm good. Or, I mean... I say that she'll decide but the uh, the shot that I got last week has helped like crazy it didn't like miraculously fix my foot or anything but like the pain is tolerable but hopefully after like two more weeks of being off of it w once that's been done and now that I have like insoles and whatever hopefully we're good but uh, it's cool to not be in excruciating pain every fucking day They're giving me a different medication to try for two weeks to help with the pain. Hopefully better than just ibuprofen. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hopefully everything works out, dude. You... I just remembered. I don't remember if I took my meds this morning. I think I did. I have to take them uh, tonight anyways, but yeah. A well-known fact that In Souls is the hardest of the Dark Souls series. Well played. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I like I had In Souls before, and I obviously like hadn't been wearing them while I've been home because I just wear my like cushy ass slippers. But um, he oh my god, he gave me these In Souls to buy. Pretty expensive. They're like fifty bucks, so like sixty with tax. And I was like, fucking kill me now. But uh, it's better than the ones where they're like five, six hundred bucks. So at least there's that. But um, like I've always had insoles, but like just the the standard ones. Whereas this one is like the first one I've ever had with the like, the arch that actually is like perfect for me. Like I noticed a difference instantly. He was like, get these insoles and wear them in your shoes at home all the time, except for at night because I want you sleeping in like the support boot. I was like, okay. And like from day one, I was like, wow, these insoles are the shit. This is what it's like to be normal. Not like have to hold, put your fucking like arm against the wall to not fall over when you walk. Back, I had to get shit stomped in Rainbow Six for a bit. Fuck. Well, hopefully it was good times. I really enjoy Siege. I got bored eventually, but I, I liked it. They all said you could take Tylenol though, and I probably did them every time, like, I'm severely allergic to Tylenol. Oh, that's great. And then they're like, uh, you can just don't be a bitch. Are these amazingly comfy shoes for work? But the only problem is the soles squeak so goddamn much, and I have tile floors in my classroom. That's annoying. 
Yeah, I'm curious to see how this, the insoles will be with my steel toes when I go back to those. Because the steel toes are hard as fuck. Which is another reason why my foot crapped out. But, uh, I've been wearing, like, my runners that I never wear, ever. Yeah, I had, uh, like... These runners aren't the greatest, but, like... You know, they did the trick. But, um... I literally always just wear my steel toes, because uh, if I'm out, I'm just going to work and back. And the steel toes are like, they're, it depends on the ones, but a lot of them are very fucking stiff. Like, not only, obviously, the front, where steel is and shit, but, um, a lot of them are just, like, stiff, uh, like, underneath and, like, just everywhere. So, yeah, then being on them all day just, like, fucks you up real bad. I'm nearly 32 years without any casual painkillers because mom was allergic to everything, not Tylenol. And with me allergic to that, we just never had any in the house. That makes sense. Yeah, no choice. I don't have any allergies to that shit, but I just- I try to avoid it unless I absolutely need it. So I always figure, like, why pump myself full of shit? And also, if you get too, like, used to it, then when you do need it, the shit doesn't work. Uh... What's up? So I don't know how I'm doing progress-wise, but I feel like we're actually getting through this pretty fucking quick. Again, I think that playing this on easy was a good move. I'm gonna start those tenders. Hell yeah, enjoy, dude. And yeah, looking at the time chat, like I said, we'll uh, we'll call it a night after this mission. Like I could probably do one more, but I'm so hungry and shaky that I just want to like go get food now. But that's that's my bad for not eating enough before the stream. But um, yeah, this is seven out of ten. So, tomorrow, we'll either do the last three missions and then play PUBG for a bit with the boys. And all four of us having never played PUBG. So, uh, it should be pretty hilarious, hopefully. Or, uh, if, if they're not all down, then, um, I'll continue The Way on Switch. And then The Way is gonna be the plan for Friday, for sure. Uh, cause I really enjoyed that- I played that during that, like, poverty stream I did. Which was a lot of fun. That was the only one that I got that was, like, an actual game. Not like a meme game, but a, a game where I was like, this looks fucking dope, and it's like two bucks instead of twenty. Hell yeah. Um... So I've been looking forward to continuing it. And like I said, like, on YouTube, or like, on Twitter, people were like... Or, like, even in other chats, when I was talking about it, like, in Ray's chat, I was talking to Spencer about it. <clears throat> and everybody's like, continue it. Uh... And yeah, I just hate leaving shit lying around, obviously. Actually, you've got shells. That might have been a dumbass r mistake. Up. Oh. Okay, um, anyways, yeah, so I want to continue that. And like I said, it's supposed to be about six hours, so it's not that bad. Although I might, I might extend it a bit by trying to get all the achievements. Because it has achievements, and I figure, obviously I have a fuck ton of completions on Xbox, but um, on Steam I only have one. Uh, Rivals of Ether I have completed on, on Steam. And then on Switch I have Minecraft, but I mean that's an Xbox completion. But I figured, uh, depending on what the completion is like, if it's not too bitchy and the game is fun, why not that make that like a, a, a Switch completion, you know? God, I hope I'm close to done with this mission, because I just don't like this one. 
Although, to be fair, it's going okay now, because we're on casual. So it's actually not bad at all. But yeah, playing this on any other difficulty is fucking awful, I find. It's just like, it's so easy to get overwhelmed and just get murdered. Stopping me from completing Halo CE. 1K is the no death run of this goddamn level. Yeah, it sounds awful. I haven't played in over a year, so I'll backpack you noobs. That's true, I forgot that you actually played it. Chris DDA and I haven't played it once. Which is what I was hoping for. Oh my god. Hello. Nice. 99. That timing. How do you make a squid laugh? You give it 10 tickles? <laughs> nice. Thanks for another 100, uh, Malone. Appreciate it. This is what, the third lift? Video game rule of three? Tell me we're done, dude. Play with Mac and Magic and go for when it first came out. Oh wow! So you got all the pro strats, then pro strizzies. Fourth floor: tools, guns, keys to super weapons. I feel like we're not done then. <laughs> great, great. I just lo I want to play this mission for the rest of my life. Also, I gotta fucking trim this shit. It's all itchy. I'm so lazy with shaving that even though it takes two seconds, I literally uh, only like do it on my days off because I just can't be bothered. Not much, but I gotta stretch Christmas money out so I can afford to tell these bad jokes until I get a job. I feel you. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Bits are always appreciated no matter how many. And I fucking feel that, dude. This whole medical leave shit uh, lasting almost three months instead of the original one week. Uh, I feel the brokenness. You were already dead. Is this... is this not... No I assume... Yeah, this is where I'm going. I gotta wait till he opens the door, I guess. Alright. Oh yeah, chat, my favorite part of the whole EI thing that I mentioned a few times on stream is, um... There were those four weeks where I didn't get paid because everybody I spoke to told me I could stream up to 35 hours and still get benefits. And then the one person that reviewed my case said, you couldn't do more than 20. And uh, then he goes, I'll make an exception. Because he said, like, how many hours were you doing when you were working full time? I said 25 to 30. So he says, okay, assuming as you were doing those kinds of hours, I'll, get, I'll make you an exception. But you got to keep it under 20 from now on. And he's like, you'll get paid within 48 hours. And then the next day... It's like, there's new info on your claim, and I go in, it's like, yeah, you've been declined. I was like, oh, uh, the fuck? And then a couple of weeks later, I get a thing in the mail saying that I could fill out, like, a reconsideration form. And then that takes up to 30 days. And then I finally sent that shit uh, a week or two ago. Because with, like, Christmas and all that shit, it's not like the mail was getting picked up anyways. Um... So what should I call it? I finally sent all that stuff, and then I guess I just, cause I, I put the like from and the two like reverse to what it's usual format, I guess, cause I just, I haven't sent a letter in so long, I forgot how it works, and um, so after a week, it just ended up back in my mailbox. So I was like, sweet, sweet. At this point, it's taking so long that I'm like hoping that they even get it within the month, and I don't get like penalized for that. Are you serious? So yeah, I sent that out again this morning. We're what, the 8th? 
Yeah, and they sent it to me on December 12th. So I was like, cool, man. Cool beans. Hopefully the reconsideration form works, because uh, four weeks worth of EI would be dope. Bureaucracy's a bitch, no kidding. It's just annoying too, like... Like I was saying the whole time, if I was told the whole time that I couldn't stream more than 20 hours and I stream 35... That I understand. Yeah, obviously, you know. Like the first two weeks I, I did like 40 hours because I thought it went just off money made. Not hours. And then somebody's like, yeah, it has to be under 35 hours, otherwise it looks like you're not available to work. And I'm like, no, I'm not available to, uh, available to work, I'm a medical leave, you dumb fuck. But yeah. Fortunately, that's using logic. And um, you'd be surprised at how much it's driving me nuts that I can only do 20 hours when I'm actually like home all the time. Because before, before it was driving me nuts that I was doing 25 to 30 hours only because I was working full time. And that I was working 24-7, but like, I was like, man, I wish I could stream more. And those first couple of weeks was like, alright, but now it's so annoying that I'm just like, okay, I guess I gotta wait till 7pm even though it's like 3 o'clock now and I want to go live. And I gotta make it a point now to start actually working on games like more off camera because my backlog's piling up because I'm always like I gotta stream this but shit like Absolver I'm just gonna do off camera otherwise I'll never do it what do I need to leave from? Um, I have tendonitis and plantar fasciitis in my foot and originally I was supposed to be off for a week and then yeah it was just like Too long didn't read? Beat the part time in the lab. Really? Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential hmm. vector. Oh, the job, um, a warehouse. And it's some music stuff, so like, some stuff is just little guitar pedals that are like this big, and then some stuff are like, like we have cases that are 120 pounds. So yeah, it's just like being on my foot all day. So I was on leave for my foot, and then a week later for my thumb as well. So then they extended my leave, and then yeah, every time I'd go to physio, she was like, you're getting better, but you're nowhere near ready. And I knew that too, because just a half hour of back and forth, my foot would be on fire for two days, so I was like, hmm. But uh, finally last week, I got an injection in my heel, and that seems to have done the trick. But I am a broken old man. Tendonitis is a bitch, I haven't had to deal with planters, but I hear that's not fun either. Yeah, it's terrible. All right, I forgot to. I keep forgetting to turn up the cutscenes. My bad. That thing gets set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the flood, which is why we brought the index to. Cortana's control such a babe. Yup. You mean this? Especially in five. A construct in the car. Is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. What impertinence. I shall so weird, that's such a British he British expression. How, how how dare you? Oh. Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough. The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Real talk, this is the first time I've heard Master Chief and Cortana as actual characters. I thought Master Chief was a silent protagonist until that. Really? That's crazy. This installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. 
but once the others follow suit, yeah, he almost never speaks like during gameplay, or at least any life with very rarely to sustain the flood. You already knew that. I mean, how could you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. <laughs> wow, savage. Look out. Okay, I'll uh I will save and quit here for the day. He almost says, but when he talks, his voice is sexy. Yup. Voice actor is an old dude as a talk radio host. That makes sense. His voice is great. My knowledge of Halo lore comes from Red vs. Blue. I've never really watched it. For some reason, as much as I've watched a fuckload of uh, Rooster Teeth content, um, and like Rooster Teeth content and stuff, I, I've never been a fan of the scripted shit, really. Um... Yeah, mission. So we're on mission eight of ten. Hell yeah! Although two betrayals is a motherfucker. That's the other like snow one I was talking about. But uh, yeah. So tomorrow we'll do the last three missions. And and then what you call it? Um, either PUBG if everybody's down, or we'll continue the way on Switch. Like I said, so let me kill this recording and find somebody to raid. Unless I just host AGDQ.